Kicking off for Tyler will be number eight. It is Hernandez. Moves forward, hits it. It's going to be short. Taken by Macias at the 15. 20. Crack. Hold Crack. on to the football. Crack down at the 30-yard line. So Plano East will set up shop at the 30. Offensively for the Panthers. Offensive line will be Carrillo, Bardwell, Quisenberry, Matt Suttle, and Jeremy Farmer. Terrence Green, Jay Cadell will be in the backfield. Jeff Whitley's the quarterback, Rico Hall, and Bubba Woods will be the running backs behind Whit. First and 10 at the 30. Jonathan Braddock. Sets wing this side. Gives away to Woods. Woods gets over the 30 to about the 33. He is going to be hit there and taken down by number 22, Rod Dunn. This is what East wants to do, I think. Yeah, they want to, just like we said before, you can have a fast defense here. You've got to attack them, go straight at them, you know, make them make some commitment. You do too much to backfield, they're going to pursue you too quick. I, this is, this is going to be a great game. Huh? Defensively, Wynn, Mosley, Bowie, Warren, the linebackers, Kane and Hines, and the defensive secondary, Horn, Price, Brown, and Dunn. Make it second and eight, ball at the 32. Daniel Macias sets on the wing to the right. Whitley calls them down, wants to throw, wants to throw back. Now rolls left, throws. Oh, my, it's caught by Terrence Green. He is popped and hold on up around the 35. Yikes. like 88 was holding his hand. Little play action by Whitley rolling out to his left. Looks, looks for his favorite target. Green does a great job of holding on the football. About a six yard gain on the play. Make it third and four, ball resting at the 36. Terrence Green goes wing right. Woods and Hall behind Whitley, option right, pitches back to Woods. He's caught, thrown down back at the 30 yard line. Making the tackle there, number 81, Nathan Bowie. Boy, they are quick as a hiccup. <laughs> I told you, they can wow. run. They can run. Kind of surprised that, that Coach Phillips' staff, number one, they pass on second down, you know, throw the ball early, and then, then they go the, to the option, you know, on the third down play. I look for you know, I was looking for them to maybe, you know, stay inside the tackles in the first few plays to see if they could, you know, beat right. them up up front. Trying to fill them out. Good way to do it. Terrence Green will hit it. Standing deep for Tyler, John Tyler is number 10, Mickey Jones. Tremendous punt. Green, this is Jones, 31. 35 and going to be Great taken cover. down. Great cover. James, if you could boost the headsets, it would be good. Thank you. I look at it, if I can change one young man's life by playing here, I'm a better person. And when they walk in the locker room, their name plates are up. You see the smiles and the joys. We even put the coaches' names up. They walk down that tunnel. I try to emphasize to every coach, when the kids are going out of that tunnel the first time, you owe it to yourself to be at the end of the tunnel to see the smiles and the stares through the roof and their dreams come true if this is where some of their heroes have played. James Bradley Schrader down there. <laughs> Too much crowd noise, but we're getting better. Oh, man. Killing me. We'll kill the crowd noise. We will give you the lineups. We will give you East defensive front here in just a minute. There you see the Tyler John Tyler offense. Morris Anderson, who starts in the defensive secondary, is the quarterback for Royals. Ben Price behind him. Anderson wants to throw, does near sideline. Oh my. Intended down there for number 88. That is David Warren. Headsets are too loud, too much crowd noise. No. Uh -oh. Better, thank you. Oh, great. Oh, Tyler trying to hit him early. Well, let's go over the Plano East defense, and it's a good one. Has been all year. David Tomlinson, Derek Martin, Jeff Skaggs, Josh Taft, and Deion Hilliard, along with Mallory Bradley Schrader. 
is in there, Smith, Vaughn, Easterling, and Thomas. And these guys can play as well. Anderson, quarterback second, and 10 pitches back to Price. Oh, oh, oh he breaks a tackle. Breaks two tackles. Finally going to be pulled out by number 31, Kaysen Smith over there. They had him. Great job by these defense. Had him contained, just slipped a couple of tackles. They try to do on this sweep here. They're going to try to hit what they call a stovepipe in there. Anywhere from the, where the imaginary tight end or slot might be, all the way inside back to the center. It's where they run the offense, and they're very good at it. If you over-pursue too much, they'll cut it back against the grain on you. They do a great job of it. 9.23 left to go. First quarter, first and 10. Ball spotted at the JT 48-yard line. Track meet is officially underway. Price has the pitch right, being hemmed in. Oh, my, Aaron Easterling did a great job of holding it up. Allowing the inside pursuit to get there. I'm waiting for John Tyler to come back with a quick trap, pull back, line up in the offset with the pullback, move over behind the guard, and tailback behind the quarterback. And you'll see some of the real fast, not the easy pitch like they're doing now, but they'll spin out and actually lateral the ball underhand. It's a fast pitch. It's a real fast Quick pitch. pitch. They try to drag you to one side and cut it back to the back side. You know, we really talk interesting offense. Make it second down and 13. We'll get to that in just a minute there, Jenny. You have Broyles and Price behind Anderson. Anderson. Great. Good oh, good oh my. Oh, they just gets it. away from Casey Smith on the blitz. 45-40. 35 before he's finally run out of bounds over there by Terrence Vaughn. Case and Smith just missed that blitz. Again, they had him trapped for a loss in the backfield. He breaks the tackle, and once he breaks that initial tackle, man, he's got all kinds of room to run. Overran him. Maybe didn't break down and hold his ground and grab hold of him, trying to put a shot on him. You know, we talked about all of John Tyler's people. Tell you what, this pass defense is pretty quick, also. I guarantee you, they're quick. It's a, it, you know, that's what speed does for you, though. One little step, just a little step, makes a big difference. For First and 10, ball spotted at the 28-yard line. Anderson back to Broyles this time. The big guy breaks the tackle down to the 20. Finally pulled down by Justin Thomas. Okay. We'll proceed on the replay. You'll see this is a short pitch, and he just lets those guards and people pull. He comes in behind him and come right behind the backside. There he goes. Right through there, breaks a nice tackle there. Again, it looks like, you know, Plano East defensive properly, they're just not wrapping up, missing tackles. That guy's a low. Give, give the East defense a chance to get used to what they're seeing here. They haven't seen anything like this. And just give them a chance, give them a little while, they'll settle down, no matter what happens here. I don't right. care if John Cotter scores here. Just give the kids a chance to settle down and gain their composure, and uh, they'll, they'll make the right adjustments. Second down and two, Anderson with Dunn in motion. Broyles behind him, Price. Gets the pitch. Tries to get to the outside. Oh, Terrific job. Job. job that Super time job. by Kaysen Smith. Well, we know, you know, with their uh, offense was, was a little bit different, you know, and we knew one thing that, you know, looking at option football is assignment oriented. And if you not don't take care of your assignment, you know, bad things can happen, you know, to you. And so we were really expecting, you know, a, you know, a, a real shootout type, uh, type ball game. We thought we had to control the ball and keep it away from them. And if we could do that, we'd be in pretty good shape. But they also had an outstanding defense, so that was going to be hard to do. And just looking at the ball game, we felt like, you know, the, the team that maybe scored, you know, a couple of touchdowns would have the upper hand. Well, when you, when you look at a David Warren playing defensive end and, and uh, Jeff Whitley, our quarterback in the option game, breaks a play that everybody on the left side of their defense is blocked on the ground, and, and Jeff makes 20 yards because David Warren tracks him down from behind from the backside in. You know you're, you're working against a lot of talent when you can't break the long one against them. And, and that's, what, that's what caused us to have to nitpick and do the little things that we did. But the kids just executed to perfection, had a great game, and worked hard at it. Well, here we go, third and four. Dunn sets on the wing to the left, Price. Well, they've changed their backfield. Ball is pitched back. Oh, my, all the way across the field. Going in is going to be Tafey Hines. See, that was the offset we talked about, Denny. And they over-pursued. The defense pursued so well. Watch it. Over-pursued it, and there's no one back here. 
you know. It's, so, I mean, so he's yeah. so he's when he gets out there, he's looking for the you cutback bet. the whole he's way. He's looking for the cutback. Hey, sure. and here's the bad news for East. That's not even their starting tailback that <laughs> just ran away from everybody. That's old Tafey Hines. Tafey. Hey, you just give just give East a chance to settle down. Their coaches will get him on the sideline and show them, you know, show that some of these adjustments they're going to have to make. They'll be fine. What do you have to do? Slow your defensive pursuit? The backside's going to have to slow down a little bit. Anytime they see that that pitch coming, they're going to have to slow down a little bit. They just you have to. You've got to stay home. It. Extra point is up and good. 721. It is John Tyler 7. Plano East nothing. We are back. Ice and all. That after this. Plano East trying to win and take on Lake Highlands next week. Uh, what does Cujo stand for? I don't know. On the front of them jerseys. <laughs> I remember a movie with big old St. Bernard. <laughs> Cujo. Get out of here. Kevin Coit back deep for East. And I agree with you, Z. I think Scott Phillips does a good enough job and he's got a good enough team that they're going to be in this thing. Well, he ain't going to panic. No. Good, the good ones oh, never panic. Little short kick, it goes out of bounds at about the 27 yard line, flags fly. And Plano East will take over at the 30, is that correct? Should be, if they decline it, that's where they'll take it. Offensive line for Plano East. Carrillo, Bardwell, Quisenberry, Suttle, Jeremy Farmer, John the Craddock, or John the Condor <laughs> Braddock. That's my good friend Denny uh, Garland laughing in the background. Terrence Green, Jay Cadell, Ike Robinson. All on the receiving side of the ball. Rico Hall, Bubba Woods, Jeff Whitley in the offensive backfield. First and 10, ball at the 30. Daniel Macias, wing on the right. Terrence Green, the tight end to the left. Woods and Hall behind Whitley. Austin right, Whitley to Woods. Over the 30. Knocked down there by Darwin Brown. Now, they're coming so hard. Don't you go a little play action and throw oh, that ball? Well, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sure say what they, you know, what they're going to do. I, uh, I think they're, I think Jeff will see that kid, a little bit of crease he could have got into possibly. They're going to pursue you outside off the pass. Now, they, they got great team speed. You know, this is something that Plano East might look at. John, you know, John Tyler, see if they're going to over-pursue that much, you get something misdirection right. coming back the other way. They will. They'll come with it. Second and nine, Robinson on the wing. Whitley now going to throw back, back out over here. Come on. There Come on. Come on. Field. Midfield. Cut back. At the 40. That's it. 30. Cut back. He may Cut go. Back the other 20. Way. Oh, he's finally knocked down at the 17-yard line. Great job. Got to slow that old pursuit down. That was the same play they ran against us at, at Clark Field. Remember mm -hmm. the big mm -hmm. the yards, the big, big game. Same thing. It's a great play. Good fake action. Throws it out there where he can get it. Does a great job of cutting back right here. And cut back again. Did he get right you back in there? there Running under control. Good job. That's what we call the old throwback pass to slow down that pursuit. First and 10, ball <laughs> at the 16, almost 17 yard line. Whitley, strong there right. There That's, That's, it. It. Up That's what you want. Right Rico there. Hall. Excuse me, do. Great excuse job. me while I get this uh, play in here. It's a 10 yard line. Sorry about that. I tell you, these football nuts, you get them in here, you give well, them a headset. Wham, wham. We're, we're a real Plano East fan. <laughs> I felt like I was running through the line. <laughs> I tell you what, good tough run by Rico Hall. And, and again, here's, here's a team that is really out up front uh, as far as, you know, the, right. the, 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 the width between their defensive line. <laughs> Giving a lot of bubble in there. Got to attack the bubbles. Look at the bubbles in there. Second and four, ball at the 10. Terrence Green goes to the right. Woods and Hall behind Whitley. Strong right with it's Jonathan Brennan. Oh, he's back on the woods. Come Ten. on, though. Five. Touchdown. Touchdown, Touchdown. baby. Oh, Great yes, job. sir. Great job. We may have a ball game. I'm telling you. you just give them a chance to settle down. New kicker for East is number 86, Kenny Reed. Snaps down, kick is up, kick is oh good. Whoa. 534 left to go in the first quarter. Plano East seven. Tyler John Tyler seven. It's gonna be a fun one. I think you're oh, right. Yeah, it's a great game. Well, I'd known Eddie Clinton for several years from coaching uh, youth sports in Plano. 
Coach Avuto we had met by doing the games in the 95A uh, and doing several games for Lake Highlands. Lucy Goosey, that, that probably describes it real well. Uh, Eddie had asked me to come in and do it because the previous years they'd had too many guys trying to do it too straight. And he just wanted somebody to come in and, and be natural. The crew that we put together for the broadcast, I had had a little background in broadcasting. Then Denny was a mailman, but he's just one of these people you know that's just funny. So that's why I brought him in. Then Mike Zafudo, despite being a Yankee, was an excellent football coach, one of the best I've ever known. So we brought him in the booth. The real heroes, though, we had a director, we had an engineer, and we had two cameramen that did the whole game. We had four people in the truck. And one of the camera guys, it was the first football game he had ever shot. Slender, Kenny Reed, barefoot or sock foot and all will kick off for the Panthers. Standing deep for the Tyler John Tyler track team. Looks like number 22, Roderick Dunn back there. Standing at about the seven yard line. From where Reed is standing, looks like this will be a, a pooch kick. Tell you what, I wouldn't want to kick any of those clowns back there, boy. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Straight down the middle, taken at the 30. Up over the 35. Oh, Good. man. Reed. Holy moly. Kevin Coit makes the tackle. That rascal downshifted and zoom. He about hit third gear before anybody got him. Zipping along there was Mickey Jones. That's too good a field position to get Yeah, that's team, pretty though. rough right there. Yeah. That's pretty rough, but they'll get us. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. You don't want to give this team any shorter field than you have to. So Morris Anderson brings them out. Price is back in the ball game. There's that ball is there given away, and oh my, terrific play by Derek Martin, big number 46. I'm gonna tell you what, Derek that, Martin and Mallory are gonna have to have big games for playing all East yeah. tonight. There's that stunt we're talking about. You gotta make something happen back there. They're making it happen. Came hard inside, Good beat, beat the block. Josh Tass back in the ball game. They get second and 13, ball at the 37. Ball pitched back to Price, trying to get outside. Bradley Schrader. Ooh, well, I thought they were going to throw a face mask deal there. Half moved him in, and James Bradley Schrader makes the tackle. You could tell on that play that, that the East looked like they were cognizant of the, of, of, of the cutback. Right. You know, they were staying at home, watching for the cutback. Cognizant? Aware. <laughs> they're, they're staying home, looking for it. Right. Good Ooh. job, good don't, pursuit. Don't over pursue it. Mm -hmm. Yikes. They get third down and 10, ball at the 40. 419 left to go, first quarter. It's been a good one. Slow mo, see if, oh yeah. Mm, oh, he's <laughs> almost got that, baby. Twins to the left, one man to the right. Anderson wants to throw, ah, pretty good time. Yeah, yes. uh, 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 uh. Throws it down the far sideline and throws it into row 13, section C, seat five. John Tyler will have to punt the football away. You know, the right. last time I saw John Tyler, they had a young man named, what was his name, Campbell? Or? The Tyler Rose. Yo, boy, was he a man. He was born a man. And I'll tell you what a smart move his coach made, moving him from linebacker to running back. <laughs> well, he, he played a lot of linebacker also. Yeah. I mean, he played both ways a lot. He'd hurt you. Oh, man. Corky Nelson was the coach, wasn't that right? There was. Corky, Corky Nelson. Nelson. Fourth and ten, John Tyler will have to punt the football away. See if that's Terrence Green or Kevin Coyd. It is Terrence Green standing back at about the 30-yard line. Flags fly, time runs out. That will cost Tyler five yards. I think they're going to call for CJ on the, on the wide out. He may have crossed over the line. Mm -hmm. And once he's crossed, you can't come back. Yep. I think he told the official he didn't mean it. Well, he threw him a crying towel, a yellow one. 
43-57, left to go first quarter. Now Terrence Green moves up to the 35-yard line. You better watch your Terrence. I would not put anything past that guy the year he has had. Punt is away. That's right, turn Terrence ball. Green. Tries to get to the left, but I'll tell you what, great field position for East. Great field position. And a smart, you know, smart play by Terrence not trying to make something. You know, he took what he had, covered up the ball with both hands because he knew he had good field position. Good job. Well, that was the year, it was my first year at Plano East. And the kids bought into everything that we said and did. And they believed without a doubt that they couldn't be beaten. And uh, we knew going into the John Tyler game that it was going to take a small miracle to win the game and uh, that we would have to play almost perfect football. And, but this team didn't know that. They, they never, ever doubted themselves. I mean, they didn't walk with a swagger to the point of, of being obnoxious or anything. They just had total confidence in each other. They had grown up together, and there was a big group of seniors that year, and they, they just didn't believe anyone could beat them. Handle the nose and you tackle down the top, you base block it and let your back run right up the gut. I yeah. just love it when you guys talk technical. It's just Man. simple. Well, the nice thing about it, too, you really don't have to get a knockdown block. You screen no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daniel Macias, Terrence Green to the left. Knocked down, blocking all that stuff. Whitley mm -mm. gives to Woods on the inside. Nope. The bubble burst on that one. <laughs> Got it back over the center there. Had trouble with the nose guard. Yep. Well, like I said, you know, John Tyler, all the, all the reports we got on them about their speed and stuff, but it looks like they play some physical football, too. They do. Alan Wilson is a is a great little football coach, and he will teach you physical football. I guarantee you. Uh, like I say, you've got two great coaches here working. This is going to be a great game. Green Robinson to the left. Whitley sends Woods in motion. Whit wants to throw oh, yeah. over the middle. John Braddock. Hang 45, on, 40. <laughs> look at the Condor run. 30, 25, down to the 20. Wings flapping, the big condor was flying down the field. I tell you what, he's hanging on that football, baby. He wasn't losing that rascal. That was lunch and dinner. Great pass, too, right over the linebackers, huh? Great call. Super call. Look at the condor. See, he told you all those years he spent in PSA and everybody made him a tackle. He said, Coach, I'm a tight end. Well, he was that big when he was in PSA. <laughs> One or two receivers to the right in motion is Hall. Giving away to Wood straight up the middle. He Good tries run. to break the tackle of Nathan Bowie, but drags him. Well, you know any son of Robert Wood is going to be a tough rascal. And he's really improved. We've seen him grow as the years gone. He along. really has. Well, that whole, you know, the whole Pesh offensive team, mm -hmm. you know, has gotten better and better. You know, they're throwing new coaching staff, new scheme. Macias goes wide to the right. Terrence Green goes wide to the left. Hall and Woods behind Whitley. Big John Braddock sets to the right. Whitley gives away to Hall straight up the middle, but he's going to be hit, hit first over there by number 73 for John Tyler. In on the tackle is Michael Oliver. Okay, what are you going to call here, man? I'm going to look at the... Loaded option, possibly. Loaded option, a little dump pass to the green. Notice he, Tyler, John Tyler's got some kids playing both ways, too. Mm -hmm. Number 33, a big fullback. He plays nose guard on defense. Both ways. Giving him, giving him a workout. And Morris Anderson, the quarterback, is also at cornerback. Whitley, third and call it three. There's a draw. draw play to Hall. They got oh, it. Somebody missed it. No, they missed it. That gun it. Tackle made there by number 23. That is Marcus Cade. Well, with the new kicker, you may not be in position for the field goal. They'll go for it. It's early in the game. They're going to go for the first down. Center didn't get out and seal. Jay Cadell checks out for the Panthers. Daniel Macias will go wide to the right. Terrence Green will come to the left. Big John Braddock sets up tight end on the right side. Woods and Hall behind Whitley. Strong right. They're going to go right. Hall in motion. Oh, there. It's oh, batted down. Thrown batted at down. Terrence Green, See, but tried to batted do, down. Right. That's what they tried to do. They isolated him out there and tried to get him one-on-one. -on -one. So John Tyler holds six seconds left in the first quarter. But that is a penetration for Plano East. Sure yes, is. It is. Sure is. 
you want to write that down, Stevie, the stat? That is a penetration for your Panthers. Two to one Plano right now. Plano, Plano East. Plano East, excuse me. Yes, one. Send those cards and letters. And I have a bunch of them. To Denny Garland. <laughs> Garland. You called me Jenny a minute ago, too, so Jenny Garland. John Tyler takes over, first and 10. Bar going to be spotted at about the 14-yard line. Price pitch sweep. back. Tries to get outside. Good job. Oh, my, what a hit that time by number 21, Terrence Vaughn. Did you see how he wanted to cut that thing back? In his first there. step, he wanted to cut that thing back inside. I mean, they look for that from the get-go. Yeah, watch it. Watch his first step. Great first quarter football. That's the end of the first quarter. Plano E7, Tyler John Tyler 7. We're back after this. Price and Broyles, big man Broyles in the back. Dunn on the wing to the right. Morris Anderson pitches back. Well, this is pitched back to number three, so they changed on us. That is Tafey Hines, who scored the touchdown. Still waiting for that trap, Danny. Dad, gum away. Didn't run a trap. I've not seen the trap yet. Maybe they're taking it out of their offense. You it's know. Good job, backside per pursuit from Plano East to bring that play down from behind. Make it third down and seven. Ball on the 17 yard line. See if Morris Anderson will put the football in the air. Look, look, let's just guess and look for the boot. Neither the wing in the, you know, underneath, tight end underneath, or the back coming under underneath. And I'm talking about between the guard center area. Dunn, no, wing too to the deep. right. Too deep to run it. Price and Broyles. This is Dunn in motion. Anderson at quarterback. Wants to pitch. Now Watch throws over. wide. Oh, my God. Oh, my intercepted. intercepted by Justin Thomas. I'll tell you what, he threw it to the wrong guy. You see the other guy was wide open. Right up the middle. He was wide open. 11.08, and Plano East has a massive break here. First and 10, ball at the 27. Big break. And you have to take advantage of these type of breaks in this type of ball game. Macias to the right. Green to the left. Whitley going to throw for it. Looks He's open. Far He's open. Line. Oh, oh my baby. Just over. Intended for Bubba Woods out there at about the 10 yard line. Swung him out of the backfield, tried to get him up the sideline, just a little too long. First quarter stats here. We had uh, Plano East rushing for 29 yards, Jeff Whitley throwing for 93 in the first quarter. Tyler John Tyler, 68 yards rushing, nothing on the passing end. And that's why Stevie the Stat and Tom the Apprentice are the best in the business there ever was. I must say I've had my sugar rush also. Earl the Cookie Man Miller providing us with cookies. Oh, those are fat free. 110377, Plano East facing second and 10. Ball at the 27. Jeff Whitley calls them down. Oh, big hole. Hall, 20. He's gone. 15, 10, 5, ah. touchdown. Rico Hall. High step in Rico. That's Rattle. that trap play Zafudo's been calling. <laughs> but he's done it for Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> to run all night. Counter dive right up the gut. Touchdown. Kenny Reed will come on to try the extra point. Aaron Easterling will put it down. Jason Quisenberry with the snap. It is down. It is up. It is good. Terrence Green kicks it off. It will travel to about the three. Going to come back to the 15, the 20. And making the tackle over there for Plano East is number 30. That is Philip Hester. Can you imagine as fast as Plano East is? Lake Highlands is faster. That is incredible to me. That's I'm not even going to comment on that stuff. That is almost unfair. And 
think we've lost Denny's mic. He's speechless. First and ten, ball at the 23. Morris with a man in motion. Wants to throw. There's that boot. Rolls this way over the middle, wide open. The ball is caught down there by we like Jared Beal. I thought he was going to throw to the deep man. Yeah. If you recall for that boot, they you know they love to run that boot. Well, that's that's what was open. Yeah, earlier too. On the interception, right? right. Yeah, the same. It was wide open. Yeah. They just threw the wrong guy, right? There he comes, come around as a dragon underneath, right there, big old tight end. Got those moves about like Jonathan Braddock. Jesse Taylor goes wide, wide, wide to the right, so wide he's off the field. Wing to the right. Morris Anderson at quarterback. Pitches back to the right. Good job. Oh, my, Good terrific Good play defense. by Lawrence Mallory that time. <laughs> He absolutely covered up Mickey Jones. Mallory and Martin going to play a big part in stopping this JT offense. Great job, splits coming yep. in, rising down. Good defense. Good, good defense. 9.53 before halftime, make it second and 10. Ball resting at the 42. Dunn is wing to the right. Anderson, two men behind him, pitches back to Price. Price, uh, there it is, right hitting side. that stove, then. Midfield yep. over the 45, down to the 43. Got in right behind him. Yeah. He kind of gets lost in there, too. Try to just bunch it up, try to hit up in that stove pot. Little short pitch, and hit it right up in there. Well, right. they got some quick feet. Well, that, that was it. I mean, we had to, we wasn't very big. You know, we could run, and uh, we, like I said, we could run at every position. Everybody had a lot of speed. Michael Price was the fastest kid we had at that time. But see, like David Warren was one of the biggest kids, but he was about as fast as Michael because in the district track meet, he won a 100-meter dash and a 200-meter dash that same year. So, you know, the one thing we could do was run. Quick feet. Yeah, he does. First and 10, ball resting at the Plano East 43. We're at 934 and counting before halftime now. We run a play, like I said, when we're teaching little kids that we call a scatter play, and it's pretty much similar to that. that we try to get him up inside and learn it from Bob Ledbetter. Oh, yeah. Well, this defensive end. Ball is given away to Jones on the inside. He's going to be knocked that? down by Derek Martin. Was Kleinman. that a trap or just a counter? I think it's just a counter. I didn't was see it? the trap action. I'm still waiting for the trap. Well, you watch his defensive end over here. He's going to get called off sides. Watch our, well, I say our, Plano East right defensive end, number 40. Yes, it's Pepper. He's real tight to that football. He needs to be careful. Yeah, you don't want to give this team anything for nothing. Second down and seven, ball at the 40 now. The upper side. He's in good shape now. Price and Broyles behind Anderson. Pitch back to Big Ooh, Royals. Big oh, my. Boy, big low. Josh Taft makes the tackle. He can move a pile. There ain't no guessing what their bread and butter is, though, mm -hmm. is there? I mean, they get everybody up in there. They get the quarterback. They get the yep. wing. They get everybody up in there. <laughs> well, he's a wide body. <laughs> he's gonna, a big rascal. Going to yeah. measure for the first down. Tell you what, we got us two heavyweights tonight. You're a little short. No. First down. 8.15 and counting before halftime. First and 10 ball at the 33. Ricardo Dunn on the wing to the left. Price and Anderson. Anderson flips it out. It is going to be caught inside the 15-yard line. That is big number 88. Little play action, short passes. David Warren. So the Plano East got 10 men up front. Oh, yeah. They, they caught them in the, in the right defense for this play. Great for sure. block by those backs, though. Mm -hmm. Cut those people. Josh Taft making the tackle. What a player Josh Taft is. First and 10, ball at the 15. We're under the eight-minute mark, 7.55 and counting now. 
Anderson still at quarterback. Ball is going to be pitched back and cutting back. Oh, my. Might have scored that time was Tafee Jones. Tell you what, I'm going to tell you what now. This John Tyler team has a tendency to fumble the ball a little bit. And you can see why. The way they pitch that ball, they, you know, they just lost it up there, which is a good pitch. But then they turn around and they'll, and they'll throw the ball in an underhand type thing. It's different adjustments for those, um, you know, for those backs to have to make. I think that's why they fumbled the ball a little bit this year. Let's keep our fingers crossed and see if they lay one on the ground. First. Second and three, ball at the eight. Price and Broyles behind Anderson. Done on the wing. Pitch back to Price. Ten. Gosh, Five. That's touchdown. Wow. Boy, they got some quick feet. I'm telling you, we got a serious shootout here hey, tonight. This is a great game. I'll tell you what, their backs do a great job of giving them their legs and taking right. them away from them. Quick feet. He sees it and smells it and gets it in there. Fernandez in to try the extra point. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is up. Kick is good. And we are tied. One penetration, though. Still one up. What's that? Right. Three to two? Three, Three to, to two. two. You betcha. Kevin Coit stands back at the five. Hernandez will kick it away for Tyler John Tyler. It has been a shootout. Hernandez advances, kicks, short kick down the far side. Going to be taken over there. Looks like Terrence oh, Green. Break no, it. Break that it. is uh, break it. Rico. Rico Hall. He's out over the 30 to about the 33. He could have quit banging into his own man. He might have got some yardage. <laughs> <laughs> banging in the back. Of, I don't know who that was. He kept running the back of me. Here he goes again. See, so boom. There he's 80 again. Macias. <laughs> Get the heck out of my way. <laughs> Jeff Whitley brings the offense on so far. It's been Bubba Woods and Rico Hall behind Witt. I wonder if Mike Whitley got a new wardrobe for Texas Stadium. Have you seen him lately? Not lately. Hall in motion. Whitley gives away to Woods. Oh, my. Goodness. He is popped by Nathan Bowie. Boy, this is fun football. You bet. You know, Whitley told me he was going to get a tux and tails to come out here. I've never seen Bermuda shorts with the tails on them, but <laughs> if anybody can do it, thongs and tails. Be them boxer shorts hanging at the back <laughs> of them dead gun spandex. That's <laughs> in tails. 624, twins to the right. Jonathan Braddock, the tight end to the left. Hey. Ball given away to Woods. Straight up the middle, still fighting through out over the 35 up to about the 37. And that's a play they scored on with Hall. Nice little counter right back inside mm -hmm. the bubble. Linebacker did a better job of staying yep. home. Mm -hmm. On the touchdown run, he went wide when he saw motion. Jay Cadell checks out. Daniel Macias back in. We're at 549 and counting before halftime. Terrence Green left. Daniel Macias left. Whitley sends Woods in motion. Fakes now Hopkins. keeps. Has room. Gonna. Oh, oh my goodness. Yowza. Whoa. Raylon Horn. There's that first down. He went for a souvenir on that one. <laughs> that head. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a naked kick Woo! there. No option man at all. He's on his own. Ike Robinson goes to the left. John Braddock tied into the right. Terrence Green tied into the left. Ball given away up the middle of the hall. Runs hard and goes for maybe three yards. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. That little rascal won't go down either. No, East is going to just sort of grind it out down here, give another score. Control the game. You know, it's funny, you know, they've done it all year. You know, we talk about teams being great teams and, and, and you know, teams that you look to go to state cha championships and stuff. They've done it without a marquee player. Who? They've got some pretty good players. But they've got but solid players. I guarantee you. Whitley's not a marquee player? I like Whitley. I like a uh, big old tight end. Ball, I like Rico Hall. Ball given away to Hall. I like Wood. Mike Whitley, send your card and letter. No, but what, to no, I was talking about running Garber. backs. Now I'm saying, you know, when, <laughs> when you get now. these, I mean, just you know, these, these state championship teams got somebody in the backfield that's the big running back, got the big thousand yards or 1,200 yards or whatever. 
you know, and Plano East done a great job of evenly distributing, you know, their game plan yeah. and their offense. Very balanced. An old defense can play. We accept your statement. <laughs> we accept <laughs> your statement. You just want to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go back to Plano after this. Big down here. Green left. Woods in motion. Whitley wants to throw, being pressured. Look out. Woods Damn has it. it. He's going to be short of the first down, up to about the 46, maybe a yard short. Let's see. Look at Scott Phillips. He may go for the I'd like to go back to the end of the first half where it was 14 to 14. We had the ball at midfield. And uh, Jason Quisenberry, our, our center, snapped. We did a, a long can, and the nose guard jumped across and hit helmet to helmet with him, rocked him back, and there wasn't a flag. And it was fourth and two, and I was just livid on the sideline. I called timeout. I questioned the officials. They wouldn't change it. So I lined up in punt formation with Terrence Green as punter and ran the fake punt. And, of course, they stopped us. They got the ball in great field position. That's when they took the 21-14 to lead. I believe, in my mind, had we gotten the first down on the flag there where the helmets collided, that we would have driven down and scored, and it would have been 21-14 the other way at the end of the half. So I think that was a huge play in the course of the game was, was the, uh, the silent count or the, the long count, the hard count to try to get them off sides, and, uh, and they did, and they jumped, and they played right into our hands, and then they didn't flag it. And Whitley just raises both hands and goes, well, what do I do? I said, call time out. It was like they hit us, and I said, I know. They didn't I know what was coming next. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great game. Boy, these kids are playing hard. 3-12. Great coach. I love that move right there, Scott Poole. I thought he had him. He had him. Yep, right where he you're was. right. Good he call, Denny. If he snaps it, he's got it. Great. That's a great call. Terrence Green back to punt the football away, standing at about the 10 yard line. It's going to be number 22. Let's see. Up back. That is done. Yep, I told you, fake. I knew it. I saw it. They don't ever put three men. That gummit, they didn't make it. Nope. That gummit. He say no replay. He said they generally do in Plano East's punt formation. You generally don't see three men in the you know in the deep man spot. That doesn't matter. I, there's nothing wrong with that call. We're fine. Plano East will they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I mean everybody scattered out of there like they're going for a pass, but nobody picked up this man coming in hard on the outside. If he's blocked, he gets a first down. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Don't suck and guess that guy down there. He's been oh, there no, too many no, times. No, no, no. No, I wouldn't say you were. I'm just saying he's been there too many times. He knows what he's doing. 306, Tyler, John Tyler with the ball at their own 49 yard line. Time for the East defense to hook him up and plug in and go deep. Ball pitch back to uh -oh, Price. He's going to hit that crease. He just did. 45. Damn, damn nice play over there by Justin Thomas to knock him down. Great play by the outside receiver getting in that corner's legs give yeah. that man time to get to the get to the crease yeah and he's dinged up too that's jesse taylor over there who made right. that block well, that's a lead back coming out of there he'll be all right great job man can price run and tafee hines is the one that's done all the scoring Yow. lots of talent out there man jesse taylor is up he's okay john tyler second and one Ball at the 41. We're at two and a half minutes left to go before halftime, but it doesn't take Tyler but about four seconds to score. Broyles and Price behind Anderson. Ball is going to be picked there, up. Oh, face oh, mask. Face mask. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, gum it. It's just effort, though. Tafey yeah, Hines. Yep, Tafey Hines was hit over there by, uh, looked like that was Lawrence Mallory. Mallory. That's nothing but a kid. Go ahead and do it. Trying to make the play. That's all it is. Just a kid. You can't get on a kid for that. That gummin, he's just trying to make a great play and, and do something good for his team. And that happens. You can't get on a kid. They're going to stick him for 15, it looks five, like here. No, five. That wasn't. Ooh, oh, boy. yeah. That's they did hit him. Oh, they're hitting him for 15. Must be an echo in well, here. Well, I'll tell you what. That was a heck of a face mask. He let go of it immediately. He didn't keep hold of that thing. Now, Plano East needs him a hookly bookly right here. Of course, I'm not too hookly bookly. That means fumble that football. <laughs> Put a little of that mojo magic uh, on it. Hookly bookly. Hookly bookly. 
<laughs> They're going to fumble. They're going to fumble. I feel it in the blow. Right 2 here. 14 left to go. Ball spotted at the 27. Anderson at quarterback. Price and Broyles behind He's him. He's going to make a play, right? Ball here. on the reverse. They got it stayed. Coming oh. left. Oh, my. We have flags down. We have Derek Martin the bashing That's somebody. That's going to be against him. That's going to be against John Tyler for clipping or something. And Mickey Jones looked like he was in a train wreck that time. Good job by the Plano East defense, staying at home on the backside, going in reverse, and like got a loss on the play plus a penalty. Move him, Rascal. I'd move him back. Got to move you him back, bet. man. Oh, that's a big one too. Fifteen. And that's a big one. Thank you very much. Clip. Yep. First in about a thousand. That was one ugly <laughs> play, wasn't it? A thousand. <laughs> Boy, it is a bunch. You look down there. That's right. a bunch of yards. Watch the boot pass here, man. Watch the boot pass. We'll be back after this. While we were away, Morris Anderson connected down the far sideline with Eric Darren. Great job, the quarterback. Coming on out. I don't know if this guy stays in. He avoided the block. Having to tackle. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's got his Yeah, that's in. a great catch. Yeah. yeah. Well, they were wide open in the end zone, though. Yeah, behind him. Yeah, there was one down there wide open. Yeah, but when you need a thousand, it can't be a first yeah, down. I'll right? tell you what. Make I'm it second down. And <laughs> when you got these boys chomping at your heels, too. Ball at the 30. Oh. Ball is pitched back to Tapey Hines. He, he tries down. the right side, but he slips. Gets back to the Good 30. Down. He might have seen number 45, Lawrence Mallory, standing there, too. I'm going to tell you what they're going to do. Okay. They've got to get inside that 20-yard line. Yeah. They're going to hit a short boot, drag across the middle. They're going to get inside. Got to get inside the 20, right, for the penetration? Got to have it. We say two run. downs to do it. They're going to get inside. All, their, their main goal is to get the penetration. They want to get this thing tied up again. I think they're going to hit the boot. We're just going to reverse out, you think? You betcha. They're going to fake, come on the boot. Third and 13, Price and Broyles. Uh-oh, timeout. Who took the timeout? Looks like East. Yep. Third and 13, let's see if we've got it called correctly. Broyles and Hines behind Tied Anderson. Out, Blitz. There he is, right in the middle. They got him, up. Oh, oh my gosh. Ball is caught see? by Glidden, and he's knocked down inside the 20, inside the 15. When, when we see the replay, you're going to see the tight end getting held up like we thought. Then he breaks loose. This other guy comes in under You just watch. That's what I'm talking about. Let's comes watch underneath him. Watch the tight end. See yep. him get, now he's breaking off, see? And 21 came out and underneath, wide open. Yeah, nobody That's that there. boot. You betcha. G sets on the wing to the right. Price and Broyles behind Anderson. Everybody else in tight. Roll out. Pressure coming. Oh, no. Ball is complete to Warren, and he goes in for the touchdown. Nobody held him up at all this time. He just releases out in the flats wide open. See it right there. Tight end. Well, they drug with him, and they yep. just let him go. Let him go. He's 6'4", 215. Pretty good-sized child. He's mama's boy. I'll guarantee you that. This thing isn't even close to over. Mm -mm. You watch East no, come out this, No, this isn't over. This is a great football game. This is going to be a tight football game. Well, I believe it was 7 nothing Tyler before we got to this point. Hernandez on to try the extra point. Snaps back, kicks up, and little chip shot's yeah. good. 21-14, John Tyler over Plano East. As we said, this is a shootout against two pretty darn good defenses. Great but, football team. Yeah, they've moved the ball pretty well. I tell you what really hurts East, though, losing Brian Meredith. They could go a little bit uh, here and get three points fairly easily with Meredith kicking. Right. Yeah, he was a great kicker. And we don't know what Kenny Reed can do, but we might get a chance to see. I like the long. This is going to boil down green. to it's a fourth quarter. You know, at this stage of playoffs, it's fourth quarter football. You bet. You, you mark my word, boy. You got two sets of kids here who don't want to go to Wash Terry. We talked about it earlier. Say it again. They just don't want to go. And I tell you what, if this guy pooches it again, like he has been the last two or three times he's kicked off, uh, you could end up with good field position and right. have, have a shot to get down there and, and put some points on the board. I know who I'd throw it to. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Wouldn't be 88. Would I think I'd have him right down there about the 30. I think that's where he's standing. <laughs> oh, boy. Because that's about where he's been kicking it. Joe so Hernandez will kick it away. Kevin Coit is deep. Z and Denny are calling for to kick it to Terrence Green. We will see on the far side. I wouldn't. Be. I'd kick it out there in that hole somewhere. You have Woods and Hall. Boy, it is another uh -oh, chip uh -oh, shot. Uh -oh. This is trouble. Okay. Out of bounds. So they Get will the take over. Will Plano East at the 34-yard line. That's not all bad. 50 seconds left in the half. They're going to go try score, aren't they? You bet. Oh, they're not going to sit on all time. No, they won't sit on it. I wouldn't throw any flat stuff in case it gets picked off. It's an easy yeah, six. I'd keep down. it in the middle of the field. Of course, I'm not coaching them, so they can do what they want to do. There you go. John Brad. I'm such an expert on throwing football. Too, yeah. You know. we, yeah. We throw it so much. <laughs> and we have seen the swinging gate at East, too. Green left, Macias and Robinson to the right. Hall in motion. Whitley, quick pass to Green. Oh my, man, that was a good job. He run over you, man. Nine yard, maybe eight yard pickup on the plate. Terrence Green with a quick hitch. Boy, what a great athlete. You see him jump up and pull that down? Mm -hmm. Like a high hopper at third. Stretches out, pulls it down, runs over a few people. Might they run the hitch and go now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Scott Phillips will do it all. He runs all some of that wild stuff, that Bob Ledbetter football down there in South Lake Carroll. I don't know how they teach all that stuff. I can't comprehend <laughs> all of it. I'm either dive right, dive left, run outside. Mm -hmm. Green and Macias right. Yeah, okay. Whitley wants He's to open. throw. A little bit much. A yep. okay. little too far intended for Daniel Macias. Couldn't quite catch up with the football. Whoa, Whitley just kind of flicks that thing, doesn't he? He's Zip. got a quick release. Yep. You know, Coach Z says, Marcus, go 60. Marcus, <laughs> go 70. Marcus, go 80. <laughs> no, I think it's more like Marcus. Pretty much what we'd anticipated, slugfest, you know, what a lot of people call a taffy pull, back and forth, you know, Plano scores first, here comes Tyler, come back, takes the lead right for the half. Pretty much what we'd anticipated, two tough teams playing a tough ball game. Um, first half. Right before the game started, you know, as we were trading, you know, touchdowns, whatnot. And when they got to 21-14, um, we just hit a spot like to where, you know, everybody just kind of backed off, you know, and we were just thinking, you know, we're not, see, we shouldn't be scared. We're already in the game, you know. So, and uh, going into halftime, I thought we got a, we had a good chance in hanging around and uh, taking the ball game away. And just it just seemed like the just atmosphere in the locker room. It was like, wow, what do we do now? And uh, Mark Broyles, I mean, he was getting first down after first down, just plowing through our defense. Guys coming out with halfway concussions, and and I mean, it was just like, wow. So we were kind of back on our feet on that. So I mean, I think a little bit, I think on the sense that everybody was kind of timid and you know didn't know what to expect for this next half to come. Well, we thought we were real, we were real lucky. You know, we done had a couple of turnovers, and, and they made some mistakes that gave us an opportunity to be up in the ball game. So we know one thing that wasn't going to happen was those mistakes wasn't going to continue. And the thing that we were going to have to do is be a little bit, play a lot better defensively and keep them out of some scoring opportunities. And then when we do have a scoring opportunity, we were going to have to score, you know, score some points. And uh, if we could do that, then we felt like we had an opportunity to maybe win that ball game. It says, Coach Z, I want to go 60. No, I say, Marcus, don't get hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, he is a tough rascal. He's a tough little kid. You bet he is. A knock on wood. <laughs> Did your life pass before your eyes when he went down over there the other day? Laying no. on the turf a he, bit? He told me he wanted some attention. He was going to take a rest. <laughs> 40 seconds left. Plano East, Jeff Whitley tries for the first down, and he looks like he has it. Clock will stop. They may call for the measurement here. Well, they're going to call uh, fourth down. Holy cow, you fourth down. And we just didn't get that. We got that first down. I know we did. Fourth down and a tad. They are going to measure it. I ain't sure asked for one. 
Well, it doesn't matter. They're going to start the clock up again, aren't they? Just let her run out. Yeah. If you don't get it, just let her go. First down. No. Short. He's a long Short. one, though. Start the clock and let it run. So maybe, no, wait a minute. They're going to punt the football. Wait a minute, though. Well, they'll set the chain they and then start, wind it. Don't they wind it? Yeah, they'll wind it after they set the chain. They're not going to snap the ball. No, I don't think so, but you got to send somebody out okay. there. Now you wind the clock unless Tyler's called a timeout. That's what I'd do if I was Tyler. Make him punt it. There he winds it. Now Tyler's out of timeout. Oh, they're out of timeouts? Okay, great See, first half. It takes three of us to get all yeah, the ingredients. About, well, it worked. Three <laughs> mental midgets in this booth. Larry, Curly, and Moe. I know which one I am. Four, three, two, and one. That will end the first half. It's been a great one. High Tyler's school football is best. Tyler, John Tyler, 21. Excuse me, I'll give this score here. Plano East 14. We're back for an outstanding second half of football. Right now, the John Tyler Lions lead the Plano East Panthers 21-14. Denny Garver, Mike Zafudo, Steve the Statman Minish, Tom the Apprentice Porter, Earl the Cookie Man Miller, and Eddie Clinton with you. We will get this underway. Plano East will kick off, and we will look at the first half stats. Denny will have that for you. Terrence Green kicks it away. It's going to be taken down at about the five-yard line. Across the 20. And up to the 22, where a host of Panthers will pull down Mickey Jones. It's a great job of holding on to the football there. Yep. Denny Stats. Plano East, 70 yards rushing, led by Bubba Wood with 46 yards, passing 104. Tyler John Tyler, 119 yards rushing, led by Price with 33 and 88 yards passing. Well, see, they've hold, held Whitley down. Whit usually gets a lot more running than that. You bet. Well, you know, they, they haven't run the option quite as much of this game. 21-14, John Tyler takes over. First and 10, ball up at the 26. Are going to be pitched back to Price. Tries to get to the outside. Josh Taff ushers him out of bounds. Boy, they can run outside. We've seen this before. Woo. Offensive backfield is Morris Anderson. Mark Broyles will be the big fullback. And then Mike Price, number seven. Woo. Looks like he just kind of look, looking for the corner on that play instead yeah, of the cut. Man, back. they just, no, they're just flat flying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Second and three, mm -hmm. ball resting at the 34. Two men to the left. Broyles Price behind Anderson. That's tight end. Anderson gives away to Broyles. He slips down at about the 35. Going to be two, maybe three yards short of the first down. Looks like on Mallory he hooked his ankles when he's trying to come back up inside and take his feet out from under him. Big down here now, East. Big down. When that big guy starts back falling, here, you don't want to be underneath him. <laughs> Get the ball back here, East. They get third and two, ball at the 35, 11-21 in the third quarter remaining. Ricardo Dunn on the wing to the right. Stole pipe right. Broyles Price, back to Price. Over the 35, and he is going to have maybe, by the length of the football, the first down. Boy, as soon as that guy moved up to lead block, you can see it on the replay if you have it. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think they got it. Excuse me, Z, yeah. go ahead. As soon as you see that back move up and the wing was already in place, that's, you know, that's what they're going to hit on. Because that's, you know, they, here it comes. See him, he moved up. Right there it is. Knocked Mallory inside that time. Fourth down. That's yes, it. sir. Oh, they held him. Going to make him punt. Well, let's see if John Tyler's going to punt the football. Oh, baby, I think I kick here. No, sir, they're going for they're it. Price for is it. in. No. Anderson brings him back. Yep. And here comes 33. Mark Broyles. No, it's quarterback sneak. Mark the battering ram Broyles. It's going to be quarterback sneak. Well, I think you sell out defensively saying that's what it's going to be. Yeah, I think you've got to sell out yeah. here. Yeah. Woo. Move Please. them up. Move Get them up. up. Move them up. Tight. Come on, move up. He got it easy. <clears throat> well, 
You know what? See what the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Something I noticed there, did you notice Price was doing all the waving of the arms and going to point first down? If Taft and Skaggs had noticed that, they might have just jumped right up there on the, on the line because Price sure wasn't going to get it being a cheerleader in the backfield. Well, I'll tell you what. What he did, he went up and he knows how slow that develops. I'll bet he, see, he saw the bubble, he went for it. If it wasn't going to bubble, I'll bet they might have gone and punted it. Called, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? 10.31 left idea. to go, third quarter. First and 10 for John Tyler. Pitch back. No got, Nope. I thought he lost it. I thought he lost that rascal. I thought I saw it come out. We got a brand new man. That's Quincy Watson, who we have not seen tonight, running for John Tyler over the right side. And he's pretty quick himself. Golly. Well, I think you've seen his action for the night. He's back off. Boy, he's got some stove pipes. I'm telling you what, man. They can fly. That rascal could hide behind a jump rope. <laughs> Second and six, ball at the 43. Watch out, 40. Boy, he's a soft size. Ball given away over there to Jesse oh, Taylor. Him. Great play. <clears throat> Tackle made there by Aaron Easterling. You know, Plano East must have seen on, on, seen on their film that, that Tyler does put the ball on the carpet lot because they sure are trying to strip it a bunch instead of wrapping up. Big play, make it third, and let's call it four. Ball spotted at the 45, we're under or counting down to the nine minute mark, third quarter. 21 14, Plano East trailing Tyler John Tyler. Okay. He's going to motion well, here. Watch, He's going to motion watch, here. Watch, watch a fake. Price it. and Taylor. See, there it is. Price rolls right, has there an it escort. Is, Rips it out, Taylor, all along. 40, 35, 30. Finally knocked down by Josh Taft. A, they, they love to run that, is man. Is this guy the wing? I'm telling you, he'll come, he'll, come right out of the, he'll come right out of the backfield, I hope. If Taylor I, I is missed, in the backfield. See, right there yeah, he is. There he is. He just swings out. They come right out of there with it. They run the tar out of that thing. Run it for years. He just comes through the line and yep. just drops out there in the flats and ain't nobody there. First and 10, ball is at the 29-yard line. John Tyler with Dunn, a wing on the right. Price and Broyles behind Anderson. Pitch there back to Price. Cut back. Josh Taft misses the tackle, then he's wrapped up. Let's see who makes the tackle over there for Plano East. I believe it was number 40, Richard Pepra. Pepper and Tomlinson. Oh, that's a quick offense. When you sit back and you think you're in good shape on a third and long, and then they come back and pop that one on you. Second and six, ball spotted at the 25. <clears throat> Check that Plano East defense for you after this play. Anderson rolls left and keeps breaks a tackle now he's wrapped up boy pretty nice tackle over there who grabbed him with one hand Tomlinson I believe uh, was Philip Hester number 30 that's almost the same it is the same action but the difference is that fullback went up in there and blocked yeah you know I'm saying mm -hmm. they're looking for the wide out maybe the tight end across so that sets up a third and five. We have all kinds of substitutions coming in. And them rascals got some weapons. Well, I'm going to look for the tight end again. Where's 88 lining up? 88's not in there. But okay. number 80 is on the right side. You have Dunn on the wing. Anderson, yes. pitch back to Price. He wanted Try to throw that football. Pull down, pull down. Lawrence oh, Mallory God. makes the play. He wanted to throw yeah. that football. Good job. Lawrence said, Mallory. Somebody's down. You said about Mallory. Oh, yeah. Great job. Yep. Great containment and good pursuit. Mallory be first team all district, you think? Take any team he wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> we said Mallory and Thomas were going to have to play strong tonight. And they both of them come up with some big plays. Fourth and ten. They must not have much of a kicker. They must not if they're going for it here. Okay, again, watch the crossing route, fake the boot, fake the sweep with the fullback out in the flat. I tell you what, I think I sell that on the outside and shoot them and bring, bring everybody here. 
Vaughn to the right. I'm going to roll right and throw left. Broyles and Hines. Roll right behind throw left. Anderson. Oh, Anderson oh, will good run. Gracious. All alone goes out of bounds at about the 16 yard line. Unbelievable speed, man. Well, I tell you, I think if I'm not going to bring anybody, somebody can stay home. They just pressure everybody there they outside. Did a great job. And the offense wanted a super job. You can't take it away from them. Quarterback made a good decision. Sure did. First and 10, ball spotted at the 11. We're at 619 of the third quarter. Plano East trailing 21 14. They need a big play. I'm calling for the fumble right here, Eddie. Okay. Hookly bookly. Calling for the fumble. Put the whammy on him. Come on, East. Vaughn to the left. Broyles and Hines behind Anderson. Pitch back to Broyles. He rumbles and oh, stumbles. Oh, my. Terrence. No, that was Justin Thomas who hit the Good big step. guy. Good stick. I'm going to tell you something. Justin Thomas will be a highly recruited player next year. You're dang right. He's a junior coming in, and he's made some big hits for Plano this year. Done a great job back there at the free safety. Look at this. Warm. What well, a great and hit. And I tell you what, he's given up about 40, 50 pounds. <laughs> it's a great hit. He kind of reminds me a couple of your defensive backs that are now playing in college, Z. Mm -hmm. You know, McKinley and McKinley. Coleman, I'm sorry. Good gracious. You're talking about the president. <laughs> I was talking about uh, Vinnie Garver over there. Well, that, number 33 is about as big as William McKinley was. Price. Come up, come up. Tries to get to the outside. He's hit. Inside the five yard line. Going to be short of the first down. Tyler can get the first down without the touchdown. Boy, if East ever got a turnover, they really need one right yeah. now. Come on. Yeah, East is a poised football team. They're there. We'll be fine. I still think in this situation, you can't sit everybody back. You need to bring people up and get some penetration on these guys. You need to drop them for a loss. You can't afford to give them a first down there inside the two. Keep your eye on the tight end, Derrick and Warren, both set to the right. Yeah. I think you sell out here. He moves up. Watch that sweep. Price behind Broyles. There it is. Trump, they got you it. Go. Oh, my goodness. There you go, baby. Tremendous Good defense. Job. First there for Plano East was number 35, Robert Williams. Force him to kick it. Force him to kick it. Let's make that uh, Chris Edmonds. Well, he's bringing in a crew. Maybe he's going for the field goal here. Yes, dude. Boy, that was good defense. Golly. Great defense. Can we see that again, James? That was nice. Great defense. Yeah, they get everybody sold out, come up hard, knocking people down. Hernandez will try the 21 yard field goal. He gonna miss this and left. Down, up. Oh, that's good. Good. Got it. 3.59 left to go, third quarter. The score is now Tyler John Tyler 24, Plano East 14. We're back. Now, that's that's great this. defensive effort, though. You Good did. job of keeping them out. Now they're going to go for two. Hi, everybody. The whole mob in the booth, <laughs> winging it. Jeff was um, the epitome of a leader. He, he was the guy that uh, stood up in, in the team meetings, and he was very disappointed when I was hired because I wasn't going to run the run and shoot, wasn't going to throw the ball every play, wasn't going to put him in the shotgun. But after the first team meeting, he came up and shook my hand. He was the first kid to do that, and he said, Coach, I'll do whatever you want me to do, however you want me to do it. And that's exactly what he did, and that's why he led that team to 12-1. and one. He was a winner from the inside out, and still is to this day. The previous game was against Irving Nimitz, and they were a very good team. Um, I think we beat them by a couple of touchdowns, but they're a, real, a better team than I had thought. And in the first quarter, I don't remember exactly how it happened, but I just came up out of a play, and my hand was, was numb, and it just, it just was throbbing. And I went to the sideline after that series and went to the, the trainer, and previously I had um, moved a ligament before and it kind of felt the same way so the trainer was trying to work with it and it just bugged me the whole game I mean it it really hurt and I couldn't pitch with it because we ran that veer offense 
and it was hurting when I threw. And so I, I went up to Coach Phillips. I kept on saying, man, my hand is, is really hurting. And he finally looked at me and said, what do you want me to do, take you out of the game? And I said, no. And he said, well, then don't, then quit talking to me about it. That's the truth. He broke a bone in the top of his left hand, and uh, he wore a cast on it all week long. And we had him wearing leather gloves over the top of the cast to try to per, per, not protect it as much as hide it so no one knew. And uh, he couldn't take snaps in practice. He, it was a point where uh, he couldn't get his hands under and take snaps in practice. And uh, so Terrence Green played quarterback for us for Monday through Thursday. Terrence Green played quarterback. We even got in the shotgun, ran the single wing. We did whatever was necessary in order to, you know, to try to make this thing a, a ball game with John Tyler. And then on Friday, we, they cut the cast down to just a narrow strip about an inch wide through the palm and over the back. And that gave him the flexibility with the knuckles to be able to take the snap. And so on Friday, he got some work at quarterback. And Saturday, uh, of course, we went with our, our leader and uh, put him on the field, and he had an outstanding game. Pick number 33 is playing nose guard. He's also the fullback. Whitley goes left. Going to keep. Get out nice there, move. Whit. There he goes. Midfield, 40, there 35, 30, 25 out of baby Jeff Whitley. Money man. He sure covers a lot of ground for a big old slow quarterback. Great blocking again. Great lead Look block by Bubba block. Woods. Cutting him down. <laughs> I think he but said, well, eight, which way would you go? Which 88, way would you go? 88 caught him. <laughs> See Witt turn around and say, wait a minute. I'm going out of bounds here. <laughs> First and 10. Plano East, ball at the Tyler 25. Ike Robinson to the left. Now the Condor, Jonathan Braddock on the wing to the left. Terrence Green, the tight end to the left. A bit unbalanced here. Whitley wants to throw. Now comes back this wide way. Wide open. Wide open. Rose it is. No! Oh, oh my play. goodness. What a play. Intended for Ike Robinson. Did that hit him in the hands? I think the defender no. got a finger on it. Right hit it. In. Defender knocked it down. That was a great defensive mm -hmm. play. Ran out of unbalanced. Boy, and he threw that ball on the line. Mm -hmm. What a great play. That's a good call, too. Boy, I like that. 329 left to go third quarter second and 10 ball still at the 25 well, that sends a message whether they completed the pass or not it makes them think about it right. Daniel Macias to the right same formation John oh, Braddock on the wing Terrence Green to the left as well Whitley straight up to Bubba Woods oh, oh my just tripped over John Braddock or he had some yardage there the last down I thought they were unbalanced didn't they have the wing plus the wide the, receiver the wing and the tight end on the, on, on the left side but they're unbalanced they had the tackle, the tight end, the, the, the wide receiver, and the wing. Mm -hmm. They only had two people on this side. I, not this play, but the one before when they ran that boot. Yep. That was unbalanced. Yep. Wasn't it? I thought it was. 3.04 left to go. Jay Cadell checks in. He will go right. Terrence Green goes to the left. John Braddock sets up tight end to the right. Woods and Hall behind Whitley. Pitch Hit back to Bubba Woods. Face. Get away. Good play. He has the <laughs> penetration, I believe. No, they're going to mark it back. You have Holy to snap the cow. ball. Have to snap the ball no, he's inside right. the 20. So it'd be a penetration, wouldn't it? He's not inside the 20. He's on oh, this on side the line, of the 20. Isn't it? No, sir. He's on this side of the 20. How's the official? I like to know the official's going to uh, how he, what he's going to count that. Golly, can I'm you like, believe that? They're going to go for the field goal here. Mm -hmm. You'll bring on Kenny Reed. They will spot it down on the 32. It will be a 42-yard field goal. Attempt. Aaron Easterling holds it down. It kick good. is up. Got kick is yeah. right good. good. Great kick. That a boy, Great Kenny kick. Reed. Now, field goal. I tell you, that's a big field goal by a young man stepping in in a tough oh, a situation. Lot of pressure. Great Great pressure situation. I think he was the JV kicker all year. He's wearing some big britches now. He can't even afford a shoe or what? <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Green will kick off. 
any number of speed burners will be back for John Tyler. Right now they have number 22, Roderick Dunn, back there. Well, they're going to kick it in the corner, I think, and try to hem him in. Green advances. Comes this side. Dunn tries to get it. He's Ball down, 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 down. Yes, at the eight-yard line. Great play. Trying to kick it in the corner where they can hem him in, cut off some of that speed. And number 22 just slip, fall, stumble, and bumble, and says, I messed up. <laughs> What is that heebie-jeebie? You, you no, it's hookly bookly. Hookly bookly. We need one of those right now. Well, I tell you what, they do tote that ball out there and let you get some arms on it. They swing yeah. it out there. Call for the fumble here now. That or a three and a half. Five back up. 153 left to go, third quarter. Jesse Taylor. Come on, y'all been running the same play all week. And Tapey Hines behind Anderson. There it is. Ball given to Hines Ooh. over the right side. Stepping up and into the hole. Was that uh, Jeff Skaggs? Josh Taft? Skaggs was the man that stepped up and stopped him in the hole. Oh, Mo has changed. That, you know, that's what's so great about high school, high school football, too, man. I tell you. What's that? Emotion and excitement play so much, you know, such a big part in it. 121 and counting. Third quarter, second and eight ball all the way out to the 10 yard line. Hines oh, takes the quick Come pitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Three tackles, he's gone. 30. Yep, 40. Know. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at Cason? No, that's Terrence Vaughn. Wow. Missing them tackles. Golly. Boy, what a play. What a great run. You got to wrap up. What a man. great recovery by that defensive back. See him, see him cut it right back. He's not afraid to cut that thing back inside. Shoulders over, head up. Move the ball to the outside and run like a deer, son. Great job by the secondary man. Terrence Vaughn absolutely ate him up. That is Tafey Hines limping off the field. Maybe he just needs a blow there. First and 10, big run, ball at the 39-yard line. Anderson, quick pitch right side. Lawrence Mallory the is there. Job by the corner. Great job by the corner. Quincy Watson with the carry. Corner just holding his ground out there, making forcing him inside. I think. If you ever want to miss somebody, especially a team with speed, you want to miss them to the, make them cut back. You don't want to miss them to the outside because generally there ain't nobody else Who was there. the corner on? That was a great play. 46? 46 defensive end. Who was the corner? Had to be in the corner. The Cason Smith or Terrence Vaughn, either one. It's Vaughn on the left side. Good job. 22 seconds in the third quarter, second and 14. Now they lose four. Broyles and Hines, this is Broyles. Oh, he delivers the load and still going. Oh, my goodness. Finally loss. brought down by Bradley Schrader. Well, they keep throwing these old small, fast guys, and they bring that diesel truck up in there and tooting that horn and getting that big yardage. Mm. That will be the end of the third quarter. Your score, Tyler, John Tyler, 24, Plano East 17. We're back for the final stanza, all of that after this. We're in the final quarter, the fourth and final. One of these teams will go home with a 12 and one record. The other will advance with a 13 and 0 mark. Tyler, John Tyler, 24, Plano East 17. It is third and one ball at the East 30. Anderson at quarterback. He gives away over the left side to Price, and he's going to have the first down. For some of the kids on one of these teams, this is the final 12 minutes of their football careers. You know, the majority of them aren't going to go on to the next level of play. You know, this will be their, their last time they pad it up, I tell you what. I mean, when you think about that, some of the hair starts to curl up on the back of that head. You bet. First and 10, ball at the 29. 
Plano East trying to grab the rope and hold on. Pitch back to Hines, tries to get outside. Lawrence Mallory has him first. Gain of three, maybe four on the play. Justin Thomas also coming in to help out. You know, it's just it's not anything fancy. They just keep loading up and coming at you and say, stop it if you can. 11 5 4 3 2 and 1. We're now under 11 minutes. Second down and six. Ball at the 25. Hines and Broyles. This is Broyles. Big guy. Cuts back. Oh, my goodness. Golly, does he bring a load. First and 10, Tyler John Tyler. And a penetration. Into the third quarter stats here. Plano East rushed 110 yards. Pass for 104. Tyler John Tyler moving up on that rushing yards up to 208. Passing 114. Boy, Tyler brought both tackles around in front of that big guy. That is a bunch of beef going through that hole. Bubba Woods checks in defensively. Hines and Broyles. This is Broyles. Oh! oh! Plano East. Plano East got it. Yes, sir. There's the turnover we were talking about, buddy. East got it. Big recover there by number 30, Philip Hester. And we call that the great Hookley Bookley. <laughs> Here we go. They're coming around. They said, oh, it's just a bad pitch. Hits him on the shoulder pad. He can't find it. He jumps in there and gets it. Terrence Green sets on the wing to the right. Jeff Whitley options right. Now pitches back to Bubba Woods. That was almost another turnover. Well, it looked like Whitley's hanging on the ball as long as he can, trying to get get Woods that extra step to the corner. First, you know, and there's just too many hats over there. I don't think you can run east and west on these guys. Well, here he goes again. He's holding, he's holding, he's holding it. Makes a commit. If the pitch is there, I think he gets some yards, though. It's just, he bobbles it just a little bit. 9.59 left to go in the contest. 24-17. Have a timeout on the field. The officials have called that. Let's see, now they've rolled it back into place. Second and nine, ball up on the 26. Terrence Green moves to the right. Jeff Whitley, gonna throw blitz. Jeff's hit, he fumbles the ball. John Tyler comes up with it. They're calling him down, I think. They're calling him down, oh my. Oh, buddy. Play here. Play action. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oh, I think that's a missed call there. Can't believe that. 9-13, first and 10, ball at the Plano East 12. Come on, East. Morris Anderson. Comes a pitch. Pitches back to Hines. Split Has it. a hole. Good job of Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas comes up. Adds support over there also. First to make the hit was Philip Hester. Boy, you can see that thing coming, can't you? Yeah, I thought he had to see Everybody there. lined up over there. 849, now you feel a sense of urgency as far as Plano East is concerned. I think you start taking some chances here. Second and six, ball at the eight-yard line. They're capable of getting the first down without the touchdown. Pitch Good back to Taylor. Ah, oh, great play in there by Plano East defense. First on the tackle for the black and gold is Richard Pepra. Tell you, Pepra came in about halfway through the year and really has had a good season too, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't start early in the season. Came on strong in the late part. Done a great job of defensive end. Kind of look on the sidelines and make sure old Witt's okay. He really took a pop. There he is. He's okay. Make it third and five. Come and get him. Two men this way. Pitch back to Hines. He tries oh, to get outside. Job. He right. slips. Good job. Good job. 
Tyler will. Boy, I say that is one defensive stand by Great Plano defense. East right there. Great defense. Snaps back. Kick is up. Kick is good. Plano East is now down by 10. So the situation is this. East has got to score twice if we have the penetrations figured correctly in Tyler's favor. Now all that hard work you do back in August and all that preparation and all that discipline that Scott Phillips is noted for may come into play here. You got a call upon it now, them two a days. Working at 105 degree weather. Daniel Macias, Kevin Coit, and Rico Hall drop deep. Aaron Easterling is in the middle of the field and Hernandez will kick it away for Tyler. Sweaty palms time. See if Plano East can take that pooch kick and get a good return out of it. Ball apparently will come down again to Rico Hall. Much higher kick this time, opposite side of the field. Going to be taken over there. Terrence Green. Terrence Green, he is popped and will not reach the 30 as we have a scrum between the 25 and the 30. I can't believe that they're wearing those tails out there and stuff on their pants. You know, last night, they wouldn't even let us put towels on them. Fish need to make up their minds what they're going to do here. Let's you know, make kids do one thing or the other, you know? I just thought I'd say that. Okay. You did. I'm we, we accept that. First and ten, ball at the 28. Jeff Whitley. Bubba Woods in motion. Whitley, options right. Back to Terrence Green. Oh, my. There was a mix-up on that, but Terrence Green gets the first down, and the big fella keeps running. Looked like they were going to try a reversal on that play or something. Oh, you know what I thought they were going to do? I thought he was going to run inside, and Weston uh, Wood go outside and be ready to pitch off. And they've done I'd that. Really That's, That's in their arsenal. He's a mix-up on the pitch, there. man. Yeah. Something. Something. Well, I don't know. Well, run it again, dadgummit. They got 10 yards on the play. 7.08, fixing to go uh, under six, uh, seven minutes here in the ball game. First and 10, ball at the 40. Three backs now. Tony Alagna in motion. Ball is pitched back to Terrence Green. The big guy is up to the 45. I'm looking for the halfback pass or something coming up. They're in man coverage. I didn't even notice it. Hey, let me step back, put something in perspective here, what high school athletics means. If you get a chance to notice the ball boy on the Plano East side, look what number jersey he's wearing. Probably 14. 14. Sure. You think he wants to grow up and be like Jeff Whitley, like Jeff Whitley wanted to grow up and be the quarterback of Plano East? You bet. These guys set a great example. Oh, yeah. 27-17, 626 left to go in the ball game. Daniel Macias way wide right. Terrence Green tied in to the left. In motion, Bubba Woods. Jeff Whitley straight up the middle to Rico Hall. He spins over midfield and has the first down. Boy, there's a lot of beef out there, isn't there? Big old rascal. Thirty-three is back playing inside. Fullback Broyles is at nose guard. Jay Cadell goes wide to the right. Jonathan Braddock tied in to the left. Terrence Green is in the backfield. Bubba Woods is in motion. Jeff Whitley back to Terrence Green. Tries to get to the outside. He is absolutely no. popped. Great job of running. Still goes and picks up three, maybe four. My goodness. Boy, that guy's an athlete. I was just blessed. I'm, I'm blessed with talent. 
Um, and I just wanted to get out there and use it to my best ability. And that's with any sport that I played. And reflecting back on that game, I did do a lot of things, you know. <laughs> and I was kind of shocked myself when I watched the tape over and over. But, I mean, I just told myself, if the ball comes to me, I'm catching it, you know. Whatever needs to be done. If this guy's in front of me or a block, it needs to be done. Um, I mean, it just start, you know, clicking that way as far as, like, I was just, there's another person out there. Option to Terrence Green getting outside. Should have been stopped for no gainer. And gives up four yards on the play with that second, third effort. What's 33's name again? Mark Broyles. He's playing that defensive tackle, looks like, a defensive end, defensive. Had him at the nose earlier. He's now he's the at end. the end, yep. No, he's a tackle. Jeff Whitley calls them down. Rico Hall in motion. Whitley to Green. Green cuts inside. He's open, pass. bro. Wide open. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Gosh. Daniel Macias had it go right through his hands. We call it. Let's talk about the halfback pass. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for it to come. Boy, yeah, they called it good. That was flag, a great call. Flag is down. That was a great call. Plain old East. Holding. All for not, huh? No, oh, roughing the Tyler. passer. Yeah. Right. Personal foul. Roughing Personal the passer, foul. right? I'll tell you what, Terrence Green made a heck of a move to cut inside. Yes, he did. To get that pass off. And threw that ball on the run, hit him right in the numbers. Should have had to should have had to catch. Would have been down inside the 20 yard line. Jay Cadell checks in, gives Jeff Whitley the play. They will mark it off. It will be first and ten. Where will they set it? Oh, yeah, let's throw the touchdown pass, baby. We've got plenty of time. Ball resting at the 31. Cadell goes to the right. Ike Robinson on the left side. John Braddock tied in to the right. Woods and Hall behind Whitley. Option left. Goes back to Rico Hall, and he's knocked down at about the 27. Got a penalty flag down? For procedure. Procedure against Plano East. Somewhere in this drive, they've got to throw Whitley to Terrence Green. We've seen it too many, many times. times that Terrence Green will go get the football. Yes, he will. Daniel Macias to the right. Ike Robinson to the left. John Braddock tied in to the right. I don't think Green's in the football game right now. Whitley wants to throw. Over the middle. Oh, yes. Caught Daniel Macias down to the eight. What a throw. What a throw. He's hung it in there between two defenders. Split them, put it on the numbers. Macias hangs on to this rascal. boy, Jeffy. Hit him in stride. For the last four minutes and 50 seconds, we will be out and out homers. You bet you. <laughs> I raise my hand. Terrence Green goes to the right. Daniel Macias also is on that side. John Braddock tied in to the left. Bubba Woods in motion. Jeff Whitley cuts it up. Now he is caught by Broyles. Broyles strips it. Broyles strips the football. He's at midfield. 40, 30. Nobody will catch him. Holy cow. Touchdown. Willie trying to cut it up, stood him up, just strips him of the ball. Um, I remember it was, it was hot that day. It was, it was hot. It was hot. 
he probably ate too much turkey the day before. And um, I stripped him and took it all away. I probably should have gave it to David because he was right behind me. I probably should have go ahead on taking it on the end. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was pretty wild after that. Let's talk about your move into the end zone. Oh, when I <laughs> dove in, so I just had to get there, we had to get there. Did you hurt yourself? No, had to get there. Well, there was two things that I remember, and first thing I'll say is, uh, I remember I had a broken hand, so that's why it happened. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I, it was, they, they had such a fast defense that in the option game, where we were running into trouble is, you know, on an option, you make a read, you pitch it. They were having free safeties come from the other side of the field, tackle them in the background, background. So that's where they were just so athletic and so fast. On that particular play, Mark Burrell, I, don't, I think he just shot a gap, and he was in my face before I knew it. And he just took the ball and, you know, ran down the field like 70, 80 yards. And that was the turning point before all the drama happened because that was, we were going down to score. I think we had a pretty good drive going. And at that point, if we had scored, we're still kind of in this game a little bit. And I remember that about it. I remember being very discouraged and just because I chased him all the way down the field. And I'm thinking, I'm a quarterback. And this defensive lineman, I couldn't catch him. That's what I remember thinking. But uh, he's an incredible athlete, too. But just walking off the field with my head down, thinking there's really nobody to look at except for me on this play. And um, it was a pretty, it, I think that was the turning point. They were a tough team, and we had hope as we were going on. That particular play to me, and I think to a lot of the guys, was this: we could not win this game. What an unbelievable turn of events. Plano East apparently going in for the score. Broyles strips Whitley, goes 92 yards the other way, and scores for Tyler. Here's the kickoff. Far side taken over there and going to be brought back to about the 30-yard line. That is Daniel Macias. <laughs> Jeff Whitley back in at quarterback. Jason Quisenberry over the ball at center. Daniel Macias to the right. Jonathan Braddock tight end to the right. Terrence Green to the left. Whitley, draw play to Hall. Up to the 40-yard line before he's knocked down. We're under 4-10 and counting. Clock will stop while they set it for the first down. And it goes without saying, playing on the East needs to score fast. They need three scores now. First and ten, ball at the 40. Whitley keeps, pitches back to Bubba Wood. Tries to get to the 45 before he's rolled up. Kind of grabs you as the finality of it all comes down, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of leaves you speechless. 326 and counting, second and five, ball on the 15. Whitley wants to throw, does near sideline. Daniel Macias can't catch up with it. Well, you know on the black and gold side, Denny, there's going to be some bitter, bitter disappointments here in the near future. But it won't be long. These kids will realize what an incredible standard they have set over there for Plano East. You bet. They're going to, they're going to hurt for a few days. Jay Cadell in motion. Whitley rolls, flips, hits, fumbles. Ball is picked up. Oh, my, can this be? Oh, my. Touchdown, David Warren. Is that right? 
Well, I don't know how long you can stand there and have somebody hang onto your leg before they call you down. Like I said, I'm gonna sound like a sour grapes homer on this one, but I'm gonna tell you what, that big rascal stood there for about five minutes and somebody draped all over his leg before he took off. Bubba Woods doing everything he can. No doubt about it, when East went down 41 to 17, yeah, it was over. I don't care what they say, it was over. That's when we started talking about what a great year the kids had had, what standards they had set, and giving them the pats on the back that they deserved. If anybody had said they can come back and win this game, nah, they're not telling the truth. It was over. You know, it was over in, in all respects. The, when they scored that touchdown, there was three minutes and three seconds on the clock. And um, I, I turned around there, and Kevin Coit and uh, Alanya were standing right beside me like two puppy dogs wanting to get in the game. We, they, all, they were the backup two run backs, and they were the ones that always went in the game if we were up by a lot, or you know, and that was generally the case. And so this was a time when we were down by a lot. We're down 41 to 17, and Kevin Coit's the fastest player on the team. And he had just returned to kickoff, and then he's standing there, and Alanya's standing there looking at me. I said, okay, you two backup backs get in the game and uh, get Rico and Bubba out. And so they did. But that was the only substitution that I made was the two running backs. You know, David picks the ball up. And I still see a young man hanging on his, on his, on his uh, leg and, you know, kicking his at his leg. And he thinks he's going to make the tackle, and David breaks away, and then he goes score. So at that time, you know, now – you three touchdowns away, and you say, okay, now all we got to do is control the football. We we have been doing a pretty good job of keeping the ball away from them, and now all we have to do is just run the clock out and just go home. And that's what you're trying to do, run the clock out and go to the house. You know, the fat lady had sung, the fork had been stuck, Yahtzee, I mean, <laughs> all the cliches you could think of, you know, it, it was over, you know, in, in our minds. it was that, that was pretty much it. But David Warren goes 6'4", 215, and Bubba Woods is on the shy side of that. Three oh three left in the contest. I'm telling you, people are going to pick up the newspaper on Sunday morning. They're going to say, what a route that was. You had to be here. You had to see it because this ball game is a heck of a lot closer than 41 17. Three oh three left to go in the ball game. John Tyler, after the five-yard penalty, will try the extra point. The kick is up. It is good, and the roof has caved in on Plano East. Well, the weirdest, the weirdest occurrences you've ever seen. Plano East trailing by 10 on the eight-yard line, going in hopefully for a touchdown. The ball is stripped. John Tyler goes 92 yards for a touchdown, and then moments later, they recover another fumble and go for a touchdown, and this one has broken wide, wide open. Kevin Coyt at the 7, across the 20, 25, up to the 30, and boy, I'll tell you, if you think these kids are playing hard, Kevin Coyt refused to be brought down. I'm going to tell you what, these kids have played their hearts out all year. This is where they play. It's a good return. He's looking for somewhere to go. Oh, a little face mask action. A little bit. Two fifty-three left to go in the ball game. Terrence Green right, Daniel Macias right. Jonathan Braddock tied into the left. Jeff Whitley remains at quarterback. Tony Alagna in motion. Ball given to Kevin Coyt up the middle. He's at the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. On his feet, still going. He's all the way down close to the 20-yard line. He said he's over there. I'm sorry for missing all this, man. I feel emergency deal. You know, we got it handled up. You okay? No, I had to call. I had to call home. Okay. Well, you absolutely 
I saw the great play down here, you know, when we caught the pass, we were going down, and then what happened? They stripped, stripped the Jeff ball. Whitley at the eight-yard line. Broyles went 92 yards for a touchdown. What? They recovered another fumble and went for another touchdown. Bingo, bango, bongo. What boss of the ball? 2.42 left to go. A logging in motion. Whitley wants to throw. Looks, 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 throws. Touchdown. Dead gummit. That a way to go, Jeff Whitley. You keep Never chunking, die son. Attitude. Never die attitude. Whitley on a straight drop. When that crossing route with Green, he puts it right on the money. From a commentator's perspective, uh, our thoughts were, you know, these kids had, had fought hard, you know, they're hanging in the ball game, but but still, you know, we're sitting there thinking, mm, it's not going to happen. You know, they're, they're showing good character, and it's, they're just not going to make it the rest of the way. You know, probably, I mean, Eddie, I, I can't recall what I really thought at that time, but there was something about the way East was playing that it was still an exciting game to watch. That's probably, probably the best way I can describe that. There was just something about it that I had no idea to say this game was over, you know. And uh, uh, I don't think any, any of the three of us really felt like the game was over down deep inside. There was just something about the, the attitude of the East kids and watching them on the sideline, you know, running in and out, running back and forth, patting each other on the back, some little, little, good little things would happen for them. They, they were always on a they were always on a on a high it seemed like and for me to sit here and say I thought the game was over no I don't believe I thought the game was over I will say this Denny coach Zaputo yes sir. for those Plano East fans I know the disappointment is going to be bitter for the near future but the standard that they have set this year and the accomplishments by the time that football banquet rolls around, they're going to realize oh, what yeah. an incredible year they've had. They had a tremendous year. Uh, super, just super job. You know, the thing I hate about it is a football team, as good as they are, for those little things that happen to lose the ball game, you know, because of those little things that happen to them. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's what, is, you know, that's what's going to bother those kids. Uh, they, you know, they're going to feel like, you know, this made a critical mistake in Cox's. Uh, so, well, you know, but it's tough, you know. But just like we are talking about, you know, Jeff Whitley gets stripped of football. You know nobody feels any worse than he does. Sure. The guy going, but, but he picked himself up, dusted himself off. They come down, he throws a touchdown pass, and I guarantee he's going to go down swinging. That's character. You bet it is. Character. The kids have got a lot of character. You know, we also talked about the ball boy on the side. Uh, James, if you get a chance, there's a young man in a wheelchair down on the sidelines that the Plano East team kind of adopted. When we talk about the good things to come out of the season, besides the wins and the losses, if you get a shot, I'll guarantee you he doesn't feel bad toward Jeff Whitley or Terrence Green or Terrence Vaughn or any of those folks. He just loves the Panthers. Yep. And I tell you what, if I don't put a little tear in your eye, no, nothing will. Onside kick. Going to be there it is. There it is. Right there. Got it. All right. This ball Great game job. ain't over, baby. Great job. And for all you fans that left at the four minute and 51 second you mark. You deserve to be gone. Shame on you. You know, the, the parents and spectators are out there for the kids. The kids had, had played a tremendous ball game, showed a lot of heart, again, a lot of character. And it, we were kind of disappointed that we look up in the stands and they're all, they're all heading out, you know, not going to stay with it the whole way just like the kids are trying to do. You know, I don't ever look back. I, I don't look in the stands when I come on the field and I don't look in the stands during the game if I can keep from it. I, I just try to keep the fans out of the game as far as I'm concerned and keep the focus on the field. So I really didn't know. I really didn't know that they were filing out like that, but after watching the tape and listening to y'all's comments and everything, I thought, yeah, they deserve that. On your way back home in, in y'all's cars, yeah, y'all missed the best comeback ever. So it was, I had, a, I had good friends, five of them, that drill, drove up from Junction, Texas, my hometown, to see the ball game. And when it was 41-17, uh, yeah, 41-17, they got in the car and left. At 34-17, they got in their car to leave, and it was 41-17 before they got out of the parking lot. And by the time they got to Irving, 
it, it was 41 to 31, and they were talking about coming back. And so they finally got to Fort Worth and turned south and set up on a bridge and listened to our last touchdown and then cut the radio off and l celebrated all the way home, found out the next morning we got beat. So strange, strange night of occurrences. My goodness, I want to tell you, this place emptied out. And if this team had quit when everybody else quit, Jeff Whitley going to step up. He's going to see if he can hit another home run strike. Let's see if number 88 gets down there somewhere. I'm betting on him, I'll tell you that. First and 10, ball at the 44. Whitley, straight drop. Pretty good protection. Throws. Terrence screen. What a oh, catch. Hi. Great catch. Tell me there's some quitting that one, buddy. What a Tell player. Tell me there's quitting that one. Uh, never die. What a great effort. Golly. Great effort. Well, see, especially when, when, when old Mo went on the other side and jumped on 88's back, I mean, he, he just carried him. I mean, I remember they, they threw a screen to him, and, and see, half the team couldn't tackle him, you know, and, and he just bust through everybody. Uh, he made plays on, on the defensive side of the ball. He made plays on the offensive side of the ball. You know, he just got where, like I say, he was a man possessed. He did everything in that game, from catching passes, kicking off, doing the things that he did. Uh, I mean, I kept saying to myself, that guy is going to be a big time player. He's going to be in the NFL. He's going to, you know, he's, whatever he does in his life, he's going to make it work in whatever route he chooses to go. Yeah. 224 to go. Jay Cadell to the right, Terrence Green to the left, and I'm going to 88 again. What do you say, coach? They're bringing the backers what? on the outside again. Backs out Lay it out there. Lay it out there. Oh, yeah, oh, lay it out there. Oh, look at this there run. Oh, yeah. In the end zone. Kevin Coy, tremendous effort. And Jeff Whitley, way to get rid of the football, baby. Boy, I thought he was going to hit that kid on the face <laughs> way down the sideline. <laughs> well, it's hard wearing a Great linebacker effort. on your back. Great effort. Here he comes again. They've been shooting those backers on the outside all oh. night. Nice. Boy, that's great. And look at this effort yeah, here. Right. Look at this effort here. 2-0-3 left to go in the ball game. Let's see if the Panthers can get after it one more time. Kevin Coit, Tony Alagna in the backfield. Terrence Green on the left. Whitley looking in for him. Now throws. Daniel oh. Macias can't hang on. Now under two minutes. 148 left to go in the ball game. Again. Yeah, his body turned the other way. Maybe he makes a grab because he doesn't take the hit in front. Yeah. I don't know, fellas. I've been sitting here figuring awful hard. I'm not sure how you come up with 18 points in a minute and 48. It's tough. Whitney Backside. Wants to throw. Now flips it. out. Ooh. Good grief. Train wreck. Well, I thought they were going. I thought he was going to go out there and hit the hit Green the backside. You see him open over there. Yep. I'll guarantee their coaches saw it. Ooh. Kevin Coit is blasted over there by Marcus Kane. Make it third and ten. Ball at the ten. Don't you have to go? to 88 one time in the end zone. Mm -hmm. He's got him really split out there. Now you might look at that quick, that slam. Take him out, take him in. He's out. Draw play. He's holding him. Draw yeah, play. Now see, he got him for holding. Yeah, see? we got a flag in the end jump. zone. He's You're holding him down there. Good call, Z. They had Terrence Green holding. I mean, holding him, they were, they were doing more than holding him. Looks like a car jacking without the car. <laughs> there there you go. Look at the wheels on that kid, boy. He can be a, a future number 14, huh? Look at the legs on that boy. One 
134 left to go in the contest. I don't know who's played harder, Denny, the football team or the drummer. The guy has not stopped all night. I'll tell you what, he's got them blisters all over his hand. <laughs> Call him Ricky Ricardo or something. Jeff Whitley, third down and five, ball on the five. Whitley rolls left, pressure, throws, ball short hop. Terrence Green. I'll guarantee you Whit will be sore tomorrow. That's all right, he doesn't care. When these kids walk off and know they left it everything on the field, that's all that matters. Boy, it's, you know, you tell them, they wake up in the morning, look yourself in the mirror, if you feel good about yourself, that's all, that's all that matters. You did everything you could to win. It doesn't make any difference what anybody says, what the score was, or anything else. I tell you what, Whitley plays on Saturdays next year, and wherever he plays, I'm going to be a fan. You uh -huh. bet you. Fourth and five, folks, from the five. 131 possibly left in somebody's career here. Bubble Woods in motion. Whitley. Touchdown. The John there. Braddock touchdown. Unbelievable. Well, I guarantee if you tell me that Twain O'Leary is going to score 29, 30 points, I think that's enough before this game starts. You got those two defensive touchdowns scored late. Yep. You, brother what a great effort these people got to be so proud of these kids just unbelievable that's character and the things it teaches well, it's what we were talking unbelievable. about unbelievable going back to august right whitley for the two points there flips it, it out it wide open bubble woods my goodness we're at 41 31 we have a minute and a half left in this ball game well, I'm going to tell you what, <laughs> I've done it all year. <laughs> they get this cat gum on side kick, we in this thing. I'll tell you what, it's unbelievable. What a great, great effort, great coaching job. The second kick was going to go out of bounds. You know, we had just told them they're going to probably onside kick the ball. Make sure it goes 10 yards. All we got to do is, is fall on the football, and then she didn't run the clock out. The kid, I mean, the kicker approached the ball, and I think Don attacks the ball. You know, before it gets nine off the tee, and then he hits it and knocks it right back to them, and then they get they get back on the football again. And I'm saying, oh, and uh, well, we got a problem here. You know, and then I mean, they picked up the ball in two or three plays. They back in the end zone again. We were offsides on the first one. I hate to mention that, but we were. Uh, and then on the second one, it wasn't going ten yards. Green didn't hit it just right, and it wasn't going to go. And Roderick Dunn came flying into the picture to, to grab the ball, and he fumbled it right back to us, and we, and we got the ball back. And so uh, he redeemed himself at the end of the game, obviously, but at least that, at that point he made it exciting for us. Isn't that great? Listen to those fans. Yep. Boy, I love it. I love it. Where are we going, men? I guess we're coming left. Come on, on baby. Side kick. Easy. Slow down, down man. It's up. It's yeah, it. Yes, sir, they got it. it. Got it. Play it. So they easy. touched it. Yes, sir. Don Tyler touched that football. 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 Playing on these football. I don't, oh, know. I don't know that it was going. It wasn't. Ten that, yards. That's no, problem. that's a mistake by the Tyler players. That's it's mistake. a live ball if it doesn't go ten and Tyler touches it. Look for the halfback pass, first play. Look for it. Other oh, people couldn't catch me. Bradley Schrader, prettiest girl in the world, his girlfriend. <laughs> Don't you know he's got a lot of grief over that? This yeah, he has. <laughs> hey, we need six right here, baby. We in this rascal? Terrence Green to the left, and they're jamming him over there. Whitley, going to throw. A lot throw. of time. Be there. Be there. Oh. Overthrows Terrence Green at about the 20. Hey, there is no secret here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, they might take Green deep down the field again, let him take that safety over and drag somebody across the middle. Maybe look for Woods at the backfield again, looping out. 124 left to go, 10 point ball game, and the Plano East Panthers absolutely refuse to say quit. 
Whitley. Going to throw back the other way. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at Terrence Green? He was open. He was wide open. play action. I don't know if I bother with play action at this point in time. I think I just get well, back and let it roll. He just, all he's trying to do is get people on the back side. It's, it's, it's good. It's time. Big down, third down. Terrence Green wide to the right. Daniel Macias also that way. Big John Braddock to the left. Offset eye behind with him. Jeff wants to throw. Throws it for Daniel Macias or Terrence Green? Throwing for Macias over there, over his head. We've worked on like so many things, like reverses, screens, late in the game, things like that. And, you know, that's what I'm talking about, Coach Phillips. And I mean, what coach would like actually pick a play that he knows that could work like that, you know, in that little of time. And the screen, I mean, we worked it just like we ran it in practice. And luckily I was to get out of bounds on down the field. And I mean, it was a great thing for us. Daniel Macias wide to the right, Terrence Green to the left. In motion, Rico Hall blitz, Green, Green pass to Green. Go, 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 oh, go, go, yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Terrence Green, no. 30, 25, he's 20. Still going. Oh, he's, he's still looking at this. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. Baby. stop the clock. Good gosh almighty. <laughs> still over a minute left in the game. I'm telling you, Terrence Green is Superman. Hey, give Whitley credit for putting it there. Give the line credit for it. Great mean, call, hey. A team, give baby. that coach credit. That's a great call, boy. Look at that. Great call, the right guy. And I'm telling you, them, them Boom. lines from John Tyler Green. down there, they're starting to second guess and say themselves a little bit, too. Hey. They're laying around on the carpet thinking, well, what in the heck have we done now? Over there on the dead gum sideline, half of them got their shoulder pads and stuff off. They better strap them back on. <laughs> I'm telling you now, if they score... I'm going to jump out of this booth. There's a newspaper guy over there talking to one of them. <laughs> I swear, I know that's a newspaper guy. Look for yourselves, you don't believe me. 102 left to go in the game. Daniel Macias splits wide to the right. We have another penalty here. They called roughing the passer on that play. They move it to the five-yard line. Holy cow. And I tell you what, Plano's got two timeouts, too. Well, that big 33 is sitting over on the bench with his shoulder pads off. Come on, right here. Put it in. Woods in motion. Whitley wants to throw. Touchdown. Yes, sir! Oh, in and out of the hands of Woods. See no, I'm sorry. That is Rico Hall. See how open they're getting. I tell you, this is... Boy, we are under a minute. And I wasn't kidding you now, Eddie. That bias over there. Is that the newspaper guy named Bias? What's his name? Kevin Bias. He's over there interviewing their players. Good. Let's get let him start hollering him at the field too and ask some questions. Big play, man. Here we go. Woods in motion. Whitley. There over it is. The yes, sir! Brothers down. Down. down, John Braddock. Touchdown, John Braddock. Not Can over you yet, boys. We're talking about, we were talking about what? Huh? I'm Kids telling they, you. They don't quit. No, sir. Great, I tell you what. And I feel bad because we're talking about what a great year they had. That's right. And you were the reason for it, Denny. Oh, you're yeah. the reason you brought that up. I told you, these kids don't, they got a lot of character. Hey, get a two point here, and they're within a field goal of you. winning the game. Winning That's the exactly game. Exactly right. Winning, winning the, game. the game. Winning the game. Plano East will go for two. Whitley. Option left. Get it. Gets it Get, in there, Get in there, Woods. Get in there, Woods. Get in there. Oh, he stopped short. Gum it. I, I knew the kids on the front line for John Tyler had to be nervous. You know, they were scared. And that played, in, and our kids believed. And what few fans we had left, they believed. And, and it was like destiny. This has got to happen. You know, this is going to happen. 
And uh, so, yes, I did. At that point, I believed we were going to get it. I believed we were destined to win the game. I mean, I thought, this is a gift from God, but we're going to take it. And, uh, and obviously, we got the high bounce, and, and, and we got down there and hit the guy and made the play, got the ball. And then it was pretty scary for John Tyler, I think, at that point. Well, here we go, folks. Can the improbable happen three times? It's going to happen, on, man. It's going to happen, on, baby. It's going to happen. Pause the thinking. Oh, it's open. They, they got it again. They got it again. Good gosh, you I don't believe it. Happen. This is unbelievable. Get oh, off the ground. Oh, my. I told you. Unbelievable. I, I don't oh, believe my. it. Oh, my. I do not believe it. I told this. you. Pause the thinking. Pause the thinking. Pause the thinking. Pause the thinking. Good gosh, you mighty Joe Friday. Power. Somebody give me something. I'm on a die. Power. God, pause the thinking, man. You got to think positive. 49 seconds left, and the small crowd that's left are hearty, <laughs> oh, and they're baby. on their feet. Going into shock. Two timeouts left, too, men. We woke up Earl the Cookie Man Miller. Look at 33 over there. He's getting his stuff back on. <laughs> yeah, cookie, man, cookie Man, we're going to celebrate. Break out the Oreos, baby. They're getting their stuff back on. Look at 33 over there. 49 He's getting dressed seconds. up. 49 seconds left, ball at midfield. Yes, sir, do you believe in miracles? And he's there. there. Jeff Get Whitley. it, bitch. Oh, out of wow. Out of Thank goodness. Thank Ooh, goodness. God, I thought that was pitch. What a game. What a game. What character. Unbelievable. We gotta get in the end zone though. We can't have a field goal. You talk about going to war with a bunch of guys. These guys be in my foxhole. Hey, stick them in my foxhole, baby. Unbelievable. This has got to be the game. And Tyler's been on the dad gum field defensively for 45 minutes or so. <laughs> Tell you what. Come I'm, on, baby. I'm out of words. I'm just gonna let it happen. Second and ten, ball at midfield. All in motion. Blitz coming. There's Look out, screen. Blitz. Screen pass. Green. In trouble. He's going. going. He's going. He's still going. He's going all the he way. He's going to score. Come oh, on, Oh, my. He's down to Get the 22. Get that T. Get the time out. Get the time, time out. What a player. Fans, we have to apologize all this mumbo jumbo up here, but we're fired up. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm telling you. They're going to do it. I'm telling you. It's ordained. It's going to happen. Everybody has. I, I remember thinking, because I was... I threw the pass, so everybody was kind of running down there, and I just stood there about on the 40-yard line. And the only thing, I, I remember looking at the stands, and it was the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen, because a lot of people had left, but the people that were there were going, at, I've never seen anything like it, going absolutely nuts. And Coach Easterling ran out in the field towards me, and he was running towards me, and he jumped up, and I caught him, and everybody was just going absolutely ballistic. And it was the greatest feeling in the world. It was. I mean, it was just a feeling of, I can't believe what's going on, what's happening. You know, when you get that third onside kick, all of a sudden all the coaches are together. Everything's intense again. We're, there, I mean, there was no more coaches in the coaching box. Everybody was down there, and we're looking at this piece of paper, deciding what pass play to run next uh, to win this thing. And maybe we, you know, after the third onside kick, we only had one play. We scored on it, and I thought, well, maybe we should have not done that because we wouldn't have to even mess with the kickoff but you know you, you can't see the future in that aspect but you know it, it, it was it was the most unbelievably great feeling of um, you know ecstasy that I've ever felt playing in any kind of sports and I've had some great times as far as just one moment um, it, it was awesome man everybody was just ecstatic and the neatest thing I just the biggest thing like I said I remember is just looking at the sidelines and then looking in the stands and just hearing that roar I mean it sounded like the place was full because people were going so crazy it, it was great hi everybody the most improbable comeback you've ever seen 31 seconds left Plano East first and 10 ball at the 22 they trail by four they've got to have a touchdown Whitley going to throw throws back he's oh, gonna get in he's, he's in the end zone oh, 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 on their cars and the radio back to Plano. Oh, Y'all done my. missed the greatest comeback of all time. <laughs> of all time. It has to be. It has got to be one of the I greatest the Plano Holland Park game, game was the most played. memorable. This is no. unbelievable. Five minutes left in the game. It's 41-17. 17. 
Everybody files out of this stadium. Takes it to the house. They're gone, baby. But we ain't. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, it's got to be the greatest comeback of high school football. Oh, this oh, is the greatest of all time. time. Got to be. 41, 43, Plano East, 24 seconds left. I done wet my britches. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, good God, and it's good. Kenny it's Reed good. kick up good. There it is. How about them mighty, mighty Panthers? How about that Plano East Panthers? Give us a shot because we're dancing in the booth. <laughs> Can't call us homers. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, I feel like they try to kick it deep. The, what's the odds of you returning a kickoff? You know, I mean, you look at the odds. The odds say kick the ball deep because the you just don't see too many kickoff returns. The play. One reason I thought it was going to be because right before half, we got the ball about the 50 yard line and we taken two plays and we threw it up to David and we was in the end zone. So I felt like he, you know, we, we still had a big play potential guy there. If they shortened the field and if we did have a ball, we still had potential to maybe to score. So the the ideal, the logic is to kick it deep, make you go 80. You know, you got to go 80 in 24 seconds. The odds are not very good. What's the odds of you returning the kickoff? Not very good either. So, you know, I know folks say, well, onside kick the ball again. You go down and get it. You don't got three of them. Why not get four? So, uh, but I didn't think logically that was the thing to do. We felt like we was we was preparing ourselves for an onside kick, but we put two kids back deep just in case they did kick the ball back there. Great execution on John Tyler's part, making the blocks and a, just a great return and hitting the seam by the return man. Uh, as, as far as a lot of the people talking about being the wrong thing to do. You know, it was the exact, the exact thing to do, to kick deep. The only reason you're kicking onside kicks to begin with is because you're behind and you're trying to score. Uh, Terrence Green kicked the ball inside the five-yard line. You know, what else do you want a kicker to do at that point? And you leave it up to your coverage team to make the play. So, you know, it's from the aspect of being right or wrong, it was the exact, you know, the exact thing to do in that particular situation. The truth was my, my special teams coordinator was um, Coach Alvarez. Gilbert Alvarez and Gilbert came to me on the sideline and said what do you want to do coach and I said kick the pooch kick I said just kick the pooch kick because I knew they were going to be deep ready for the deep kick and uh, I said kick the pooch kick well I had turned around and David Ryan and Danny Love my two coordinators uh, were standing behind me and David said coach I think we ought to kick it deep and I almost called him a fool I turned around with a big smile to say are you stupid and when I did Danny said I agree with him and I thought, you agree with him? And then they, then they reasoned with me and said, Coach, their quarterback is so explosive. If they complete one pass or if he breaks one run, they can kick a field goal and tie. We'd have to go into overtime. And so I thought, you know, this is unbelievable already to score 27 points in 2 minutes and 39 seconds off the clock. Uh, I thought, we can do no wrong. So I said, okay, y'all got it. We had kicked deep all night long and covered. The difference was is we had a couple of guys like uh, Aaron Easterling that was suffering from a concussion we didn't even know, and he was on the kickoff team, and Aaron was trying to go down the field, and he was just kind of jogging along on the kickoff because he didn't know where he was. And, uh, but we, we had uh, Kevin Coit got knocked on his tail on the kickoff. But if you, look at the, if you go back and look at the video, they had nine players within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage. They were prepared for another onside kick, which was, would have been – it was just kind of idiotic. We had the lead. We weren't going to kick on side again. And then uh, they had two guys back at the 20 or 25-yard line. And Terrence had always taken about two steps to kick the onside. And he had backed up to 10 yards to get a running start for the kickoff. And uh, so Terrence backed up to 10 yards. And Roderick Dunn picked up on that and started backing up before the approach. He started backing up. But he was on the opposite hash. And Terrence is left-footed. So he's going to kick it down their sideline, their hash, and uh, he, he's kicking it over their head into the end zone. When I saw their alignment, I celebrated. I thought, this is great. Man, you guys saved us. I'm glad we're not pooch kicking. This is the perfect kick because we're going to kick it over their head in the end zone. They're going to start at the 20. And uh, Roderick backed up to about the 16 or 17-yard line when the ball was hit. And then he sprinted to a point where he caught it 
about a yard off the ground, about three foot off the ground. He catches the ball and turns to their sideline and picks up one great block on Kevin Coit and pops through that hole. But all their players just returned, just ran backwards, got in front and turned and made the block at the right time that sprung him. So it ended up being a, I don't know, I guess it was a, what was meant to be. Hey, Jeff what Whitley. A win. Hey, why is Tyler, why are they all up so close? Hey, it's done happen three times in a row. They're scared. Terrence Green's <laughs> gonna kick the ball back over their heads. Sure he is. I'm gonna tell you, Tyler put it in the bag, didn't he? They took their uniforms off. I told you I saw them on the sideline. They had them off. Well, I'm going to tell you what, Channel 8, Channel 5, whoever the mother big boys, they've done packed it in, too. They didn't get any of this on camera. We got it. <laughs> Sell it to them for a premium, You man. dang right. Sell it to them for a premium. Here's the kickoff. 24 seconds left. Terrence Green boots it high and deep. Going to be All right, just seconds run. Got a crease. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, no! Come on, no, no! Oh, gosh! I don't believe it. God bless those kids. I, I'm sick. I want to throw up. Oh, my gosh. Roderick Dunn takes it 97 yards. Touchdown. Oh, God bless him. God bless him. And there's that speed we talked about at JT. Yeah. God bless those kids. God bless them. The thing that we did that you didn't know at the time, the, you know, Rod was on the left-hand side of the, the, the onside, the kickoff return team. And we had them about the 20 yard line. And when the ball went up in the air, it was over his head. And now most kids just sit there and look at the ball. You know, just look at it because, I mean, you know, I can't get it. And Rod goes back about the three yard line and picks the ball up, and, you know, here he goes. And uh, the thing that happened, everybody keeps talking about the kickoff return. What did we have that was special? You know, we didn't have anything special. I think. Plano East overcoached on the, on the deal because they told them, hey, stay in your lanes. The outside three guys stayed right in their lanes. We ran right past them. We ain't touched nobody. We blocked the kicker. David Warren blocks the kicker, and we score. And, at the, and you know, I'm looking down the sideline, and Rod is running down our sideline, and, and, I mean, he's about two foot from the out-of-bounds marker. <laughs> I said, okay, now what else could go wrong here? And David is right on the side of him. And I'm saying, he's going to knock him out of bounds. <laughs> he's just going to push him right on out of bounds. And, of course, he runs up into the tone and he scores. And, and I'm just sitting there in shock. And I'm looking at Coach Blurden, our defense coordinator. And I, we ain't moved. So we just sit there looking. And I look at the clock. It's 11 seconds on the clock. I said, guys, anything, this one still can happen. So, you know, it's just one of those uh, uh, bizarre games and uh, with a you know, very bizarre finish. Right when we went up, Bubba Woods scored that touchdown. You know, I, I don't remember myself going to the sidelines. I'm, I stayed on the field walking back towards the hash, one hand up, you know. And, and tears just started coming down just a little bit right then. Uh, and I was just like, man, I cannot believe this. You know, we came back and did it. And there was no talk about kicking the onside, a squib. And I'm thinking I'm just going to kick it deep because they were still kind of up anyway. So. Sitting the ball on the tee, you know, trying to regroup myself, and uh, gave the finger down. Everybody's ready. Kick it deep. This guy runs back over his shoulder, catches the ball, and you know, and he, I see him start up the hash over there on the left side. And right when I see him break free, and I'm trying to run, I still see it. I'm running sideways with guys holding. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm just thinking. I'm looking around four flags somewhere. I'm like, it's got to be a flag. But fortunately, it wasn't. Well, you know, it was, a, it was, it was a Plano, our rival there for several years, used it as a gig, you know, kick deep, get deep, and stuff like that. And I had a lot of people say, well, we're going to have this guy come to the Rotary Club. And I even had Archie McAfee say, I'm taking him to the Rotary Club so he can answer that question 
for all of y'all, so he can tell y'all why he kicked deep. Uh, but, you know, I, it doesn't matter. Dennis Parker summed it up pretty well for me right after, uh, the, about two weeks after that. I stopped in Cleburne and visited with him on my way home for Christmas. And, uh, and Parker said, Scott, he said, you did the right thing. He said, it doesn't matter what you do. He said, I was ahead of uh, Dallas Carter in, in a playoff game when I was at Marshall. And he said, we got ahead in the last few seconds. And he said, I said, kick the squib kick. kick just kick it on the ground. Kick the, just a squib kick bouncer. He said, we kicked it right through the front line. It hit the ground on the point of the ball, bounced up in the air, and the deep guy caught it and returned it for a touchdown. He said, and they beat us. He said, so you can kick it on the ground and get beat. You can kick it deep and get beat. You can kick the pooch and get beat. And you know a lot of people have, have returned onside kicks. If you catch it just right between two people, you can go the distance on an onside kick, probably easier than anything. So there's no, uh, there's no guarantees. You know, I, I had, a, I had a, a, a letter sent to me that year. I'll never forget it. It said, why didn't you kick it out of bounds? Well, if you kick it out of bounds, it's a penalty, and you have to kick it again. <laughs> you don't accomplish anything by kicking it out of bounds. And so, er, you know, everybody that knows so much about football that doesn't study much video, you know, they all have their opinion, and so we just let them have it. Here's the kickoff. 24 seconds left. Terrence Green boots it high and deep. Going to be all right. Just seconds run. Three. Got a crease. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh, oh my gosh! No! Come on, no, no! Oh, gosh! I don't believe it. God bless those kids. I, I am sick. I want to throw up. I, I don't know to this day. I was talking about to that, my wife about that this morning because I knew you were going to ask the question. And I think it was, it was just a, a feeling, you know. Uh, it was nothing that it just didn't pop I think I was thinking it because of what those youngsters had done how they fought back and fought back and then to see that just go down the tubes that quick it actually made me and you understand I really felt like I was gonna throw up I mean I really did I mean that's how probably because of that the way I felt plus the fact that you know that all of a sudden <sighs> You know, I was so, so excited I was going to get to play Plano East again. It just, it just went out the door. It just went out the door, you know. And, and I th it was just an emotional thing. But what I don't think anybody really understands, I really felt that way. I mean, I could have gone over there and barfed. I mean, that's how I really felt. Deep. I mean, I was actually sick. I, was, I, was, I actually didn't feel good. And um, uh, on the other hand, you know, the more I thought about it when it was over, I know when I was driving home, I thought, wow, what a great game. But what about those kids from John Tyler? Remember, we went to John Tyler to present the ESPY Award. They introduced me. Everybody stood up and booed me, which was understandable. That was understandable. Uh, you know, but you saw how I felt when I talked to the group. And I said, I want to meet Mr. Dunn. And boy, he came out of the stands, and I walked up to him and hugged the guy. You know, because as a coach, it's a whole different ball game than being like an announcer. I think. I mean, I, you know, I wasn't an announcer. I was just a coach sitting there, and I was all the feelings of both. I mean, both those coaches were friends of mine, and and it, it was a very difficult situation. You know, and um, uh, I. I don't know. It was just uh, it's just one of those things that to answer the part of the question about have I, have I heard anything about it since it was over? You wouldn't believe how many times I'd be on the flight. You know, I'd go back east to see my parents because I am a, just a Yankee. You know, I'm a Yankee, and uh, I live in Texas, but I'm a Yankee, and I hear about that all the time. But that's okay. But uh, coming back, returning, you know, flights, stuff like that. And, you sit down with someone flying to te down to Dallas and say, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Dallas. Really, you know, some, you know, person from Pennsylvania is going out for business or something. Boy, you Texas guys sure take your football serious. Do you remember the deal back when these two teams played? And I go, oh, no. <laughs> I got to go through this. And I let them sit there and talk about it, you know. And a couple of times I said, well, would you believe that I was the guy that said, I think I'm going to throw up. It's, oh, that's not true. I said, okay. <laughs> you know, but it has been quite an experience. 
And it's not over yet. You're exactly right. That's right. 11 seconds left to go in the ball game. Tyler, 47. Plano East, 44. Kick is good. It is now 48-44. You know, man, this is the kind of stuff that these this is people thing. outside of education right. have got to see. These are the kind of films that got to be sent throughout the country to support high school athletics. Yeah. I'm not just football. I mean high school athletics, getting kids involved, you know, putting money into, into, into getting kids to stay involved within their schools. This is what it's all about. These kind of finishes, basketball, football, track. I mean, how can you even think about maybe taking the dadgum athletic period away from school because it's not academic? Fans are on their feet. You, then they, you're darn right they're on their feet. Tyler fans are now off their duff and on their feet. They have, they have done something here least you'll never see. I mean, I'm going to get a hold of this film. This is a motivational film. Yeah. That's what it is, man. This is this needs to go to every junior high school in the country. Take the last five minutes. I guarantee it. And say, it's here it is. This is this is what it's supposed to do. Eleven They're seconds left to go. Hernandez kicks it high and deep. Goes over Kevin oh, no, Boyd's no. head. Don't touch it. Let it go Let in it the go end zone. In the end zone, bud. There okay. You go. Now I'll get it. Pick it up. Pick it up. He's calling it. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. We're 11 seconds away from the end of the season and the end of a career for a lot of high school kids here. Pass is tipped away intended for Terrence Green. There was your swinging game. A yeah. little bit of hook and lateral, huh? Hook and lateral. Seven seconds left to go. Boy, man, you've got to play every down, don't you? You've the got to play every down. Incredible. This is a fine, you know, I thought the one in Huntsville back in 89. Yep. Remember, that was a I great agree. game. This is, that, that one couldn't even compare to this game. I'm going to throw it in the trash. <laughs> Don't go nuts. This is a great, oh, seven seconds left, folks. Plano East has maybe a whisper of a prayer. Jeff Whitley throws. Going to be picked off. Picked off. One, man. Don't, don't let him score. Picked off by Morris Anderson. The game is over. I don't think any of us. I have witnessed over 400 high school games in Texas Stadium since I've been here, and that's playoff games, not counting regular season games, and we have about five years. I don't think in my lifetime or being at Texas Stadium I will ever, ever see another game like that game, and especially the finish. Like I said, it, it kind of, you know, didn't hit me a few years after the fact. But as the years go on, you know, every year I pop it in once a year. And just to watch it, I'm just like, man, that's, that's a great game to be a part of. Because, for one, you can always look back and see how you were as an athlete. If you have kids, you can show them that. Uh, you can go to schools and talk about stuff like that. And I mean... I know a lot of people were watching that game. I still talk to people that, you know, pulled over on the side of the road and, yeah, and they were listening on the radio and uh, left the game, you know, it's over with. But, I mean, it's just a great part of being uh, a part of that game uh, just for the simple fact that you, nobody will ever forget that game. It's one of the greatest high school games ever. I think it's going to live a lot longer than people think it's going to live because I just don't think it'll ever take place again. The chances of a team kicking onside three times and scoring, and then the other team that just had three touchdowns score and turn around and run back to kick off for a touchdown? No. I'd bet my multi, multi millions of dollars that I have as a coach that that would never, ever happen. I mean, us high school coaches, we are paid big time. I'd bet all my millions of dollars that that would never happen again. It is a, um, a neat game when you're when you're 18 years old and in that game you, you don't realize it until you do grow a little, until it is 10 years later and you've talked about it for the last 10 years and you've seen the neat things that have happened with that game and it, it, it was a, a great thing to be in it's like you just said you you finally start realizing as you're getting older when you're 18 you're just a kid and you don't really you just got through living it so you don't know what's going on but you see that you are part of something that was neat and you're part of history and um, and that people still do talk about it, people still know about it. My, my father, like I said earlier, he, 
he calls me at least once a month, whether it's the ticket talking about it or whether a sports show showed it again or, or, or whatever it may be, you still always hear about it. You can still always talk about it and people still always know about it. So it was a great, great thing to be a part of. And the way it ended and the way it happened made it a little bit bigger than life for you, Dad. So every time you people you around somebody and they ask you, you know, you know where where you coaching, they say, "Well, did you, where you at that game?" Well, yeah, I was on the sideline. You know, I happened to be one of the coaches. Or, and then they want to start talking to you about the ball game and, and the way it ended and the way it happened. So it, it's, it was a great uh, pleasure to be in it after it was over. And it's always a great uh, memory to, to, to talk about it. It, it. You know, when you uh, came up and were talking about doing this 10-year deal, I mean, the game is still in our, my memory. I mean, it's just like it was just yesterday. You can just see the game. You can see how it unfolded. And you know all the characters in the, in the play. And so it, it's been, a, 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 you know, really an unreal event that you actually, you know, was a part of, uh, of a game like that. Well, it won't ever be duplicated, I don't think. And, I, and, and when you have that, you have a classic. And when you have a classic, it's something that people are going to enjoy anytime. I talk to people about it. You know, once the Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine came out, they said, oh, were you involved in that? Oh, yeah, I was involved in that. A little more than you would imagine, a little more than I wanted to be at times. And as much as I could possibly be at, 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 there in the fourth quarter when we were running those plays and scoring those touchdowns, I was glad to be in the middle of it. Um, but it was, it's a deal where it's never going to go away. You know, it'll be here 100 years from now. Unless somebody tops it, it's going to be out there. And people are going to want to see it, and they're going to want to talk about it. See, we've seen a lot of football games. We've called a lot of football games, saw a lot of great comebacks. Uh, we were stringers for the newspaper, did the, the, the cable thing, doing 9-5-A football. Uh, I've seen a lot of, you know, dramatic comebacks. But never have you ever seen a game with three minutes and 41 seconds left in the contest where five touchdowns are scored. The heart and character showed by both teams, not only Plano East for their comeback, but John Tyler for going ahead and, and winning the football game. Uh, I don't think there'll ever be another football game like the one that, that, that we did. It's, it's, I, don't, I, can't, I can't conceive that ever happening again. And I feel privileged and fortunate that, number one, I was there to witness, but also to be a part of it. Ten years, and I still find it hard to comprehend all that happened. As a matter of fact, I still put the game in a couple of times a year and still get sweaty palms, all in a game that happened a decade ago. Even now, all these years later, not a month goes by that someone does not ask me about the game. One thing that I'm sure of, long after we're all gone, replaced by new generations of sports fans, whenever and wherever high school football is discussed, it will be this game, played in 1994 in Texas Stadium, that will forever be known as the world's greatest high school football game. So long, everybody.